Welcome to in Kathmandu. It's game number four of the SkyExchange.net T20 Tri Nations series. Nepal powered by Daffa News. We've got a real thriller in our hands. If the home side can win today, they will guarantee their place in the final. There's the two lineups. Just one change for each of the two sides today. And a debut, a T20i debut. First appearance in Nepali senior colours for young Mohamed Adil Alam, just 18 years of age. Was one of the stars of the Asia Cup campaign recently in the UAE. The Asia Cup under-19 campaign, that is. Kushal Mala goes out of the team for the home side. There he is. Doesn't even have his full kit on yet. Has played a bit for the province too, Nepal, in the PM Cup as well. And for the PNG side, just one change as well. Riley Hakorne, the medium-paced all-rounder. Back into the side, Jason Keela misses out today. Still have issues with Seymour Kamea and his hamstring. There's the points table. Don't have the net run rates on that, but the net run rates put the home side in a very strong position after a big win yesterday over Malaysia. If they win today, they guarantee themselves a place in the grand final. And it's a special day for Nepali cricket because it's their 50th T20 international coming into today. They've won 25 of those 49 matches, lost 21. And... A non-result. In fact, I had to get my sums right. Won 27 of those matches. Lost 21. And one non-result. Kushal Bertel and Asif Sheikh to open up the batting. And our umpires today, Vinay Kumar Jha, who's standing at the far end of the ground. Ignore that graphic for the moment. That's wrong. He's standing up at the Chobar end of the ground. Buddy Pradhan is at square leg right now. He's at the pavilion end. Durga Subedi will be the third umpire joined by Wendell Lebroy. All set for match number four. Kushal Bertel to face Norman Vanua. And he'll start with a pretty friendly wide down the leg side to get the scoreboard ticking. The fans starting to filter in. Andrew Leonard with you here, as always. Great to be back with you again. And I've got a youngster to my left, Paramba Dahal. Paramba looking dapper as always. Good morning. Good afternoon to you. A very good afternoon, Andrew. A very important match for Papua New Guinea out here. They've come close at times against Nepal. Of the one day years, they won quite convincingly, but have not been able to carry that form into the T20 internationals. Yeah, not quite. And for PNG, if you look at that points table, we spoke about it from the Nepali point of view. If they were to lose today, they're not knocked out, but it takes their fate out of their hands. Because if they were to lose their final game, they'd definitely be knocked out. But even if they beat Malaysia... Malaysia could beat the home side and end up getting through to the final with two wins. So they're going to need to win today to keep their fate in their own hands. Nicely bowled that time by Vanua. A little bit of extra bounce and some good pace. Mentioned earlier in the pitch board by our colleague Azaz as well. You can expect good bounce, trust the bounce of the pitch as well. A batting track, he said. Yeah, this is the same wicket that we played the two one-day internationals on. Cut away too much width this time, and Bertel flays it behind square on the offside. The first boundary of the day belongs to Kushal Bertel. What a talent this 25-year-old is. Confident looking shot out there. The width given, and Kushal punishing as he confidently does to those kind of deliveries. Nepal five runs from this over so far and the first runs from the bat player of the match effort yesterday for the first time from Asif Sheikh he's actually the leading run scorer in the tournament Asif Sheikh the only man to get past three figures he has a hundred runs to his name interestingly Norman Vanua in second it's been his impact his all-round impact on this series but this time he was too short and wide the big fast bowler and I think that one might have just snuck through the fence or something. So Vinny Kumar Jha, who's standing today, gets the sanitizing wipes out before the ball goes back to Vanua. Fans just starting to filter in slowly. Big crowd yesterday. I'm sure it'll be the same this afternoon. Going to be more runs, four more. Poor delivery this time. Too wide the previous delivery outside the off stump. This time strays down leg and it's back to back boundaries. That definitely was going wide in the leg side, and Kushal made the most of it. 
got the deserved boundary. Nine runs. And the DJ is winning a few, a few home fans over. That's a great song. What's that one? It's a, it's a Bollywood one, is it? It's a love song, isn't it? It's definitely from our southern neighbors, India. It's a Bollywood item number. It's a real cult classic, though, here. I remember the last time I was here in Nepal for the Everest Premier League, that was being played very regularly. And it really always got the crowd up and dancing. I need to stick that into my Shazam, get it into my playlists. Did you pick some Nepali dance moves, though, Andrew? Lucky, luckily, the commentary cam is actually broken at the moment, so I, I, we can't come up and show you those dance moves. No, I, I prefer just to sit in the corner and, and smile away. Maybe more of a talker than a dancer. A lover, not a fighter. Great to see the atmosphere building, though, this wonderful ground. Such an occasion always when the home side plays here. And nice to see slightly better weather today as well. The sun has kind of broken through. Very hazy the last couple of days. Ideal cricketing conditions, 26 degrees. Shake won't get off the mark. It's 10 runs from the first over. It's exactly the start the ball wanted. 10 for none. Introducing the TV's Apache RTR 204V, engineered to adapt. Kabu of Aggie Morea to open the bowling from the pavilion end of the ground with his left arm over. Pretty effective when he's been used in Nepal here. And that means Nasiana Pakana, who is in the team today, will be held back, probably bowl first change. Just as that a bit more control with the new ball, Morea than Pakana. Been looking at some stats into Kushal Vurtel, Andrew. In 13 matches, with a top score of 104, he is averaging at around 58. Decent start to your international career, that isn't it? Joint fastest in the history of the T20I game to 500 runs in terms of the number of innings used. At 100 coming against the Philippines. He's really at the tri nation series at this very ground. Good decision not to take the second. Allow Sheikh to get back. Where he was the player of the tournament, announced himself onto the world stage, four fifties and in five innings. And he's continued from that start to become an absolutely key player at the top of the order was also nominated for ICC player of the month at that point of time <laughs> yeah hasn't had quite the same success in the ODI format the two versions of the game very very different the two white ball versions of the game they're growing ever more specialized aren't they to bat in very different ways particularly at the top of the order in first six hours of the power play of this T20I where there's only two fielders allowed outside the circle. You have to capitalize. You almost have to go all out attack. It's very different than ODI cricket. And he's just played with the carefree simpleness of a young batter who doesn't have a care in the world. It's a good way to play. And he's profited really nicely from it. Lots of fours and sixes in that short T20I career. Very, very fit man as well if you actually see him face to face he's not tall but he's incredibly strong very disciplined and keeps himself very fit long hours at the gym and good diet as well so this is what aspiring cricketers the kids out there at home watching nepali cricketers and also those from png and malaysia a lot to learn and it's the modern international cricketer don't think you can afford, unless you're exceptionally talented, to be out of shape these days. And the likes of Asif Sheikh, 
Usual Vertel, Dependra Singh, Iri, Sampal Kami, they're all super fit. Rohit Powdle as well. They spend nearly as much time working on their physical physique and strength in the gym as they do practicing their skills. You do need to have that balance. You don't want to become just a gym junkie and not practice your batting, your bowling, your fielding skills. But if you get the balance right and you're at peak physical fitness, it's going to help you significantly in your international career. Picked up into the leg side protection out there. That's one of the two men outside the circle. It'll just be a single to close out the second over. Just a solid start for that ball. 14 for none. So, an immediate change of bowling from the Chobar end of the ground. Here at the fantastic to your international cricket ground. Could do with some rain, couldn't we? That outfield is pretty dry right now. It's pretty bumpy as well. The 30 yard circle's okay, but outside of that, you can get a few tricky bumps and bounces up to the VIP box there, over to the media side. And it will be Nasiana Pakana from the Chobar Hills end of the ground, or the Chobar Dada end of the ground. I'm Trying to get more and more Napoli into my commentary where I can. Learning slowly. Quick single's going to be run. Special day today, 50th T20 International. Good landmark for the home side. Definitely, Andrew. And the way Nepali cricket has got to develop, it's been beautiful. The journey for Nepali One Day Internationals and T20 both producing young players. Kushal Mala in the yellow bib there, he misses out today. Well, he was pretty good with the ball yesterday when he bowled one over. One for three. Got the big wicket as well, but he's been rotated out of the team. Dasanayaka, the head coach, has been at pains to say that it's a rotation policy. Here's some of the PNG bench, Greg Campbell, the CEO, former Australian Test cricketer, and he's sitting next to another former Australian Test cricketer. Chad Sayre is a one-cap wonder, only got the one-cap. But that's all that you needed and speaking of Australia I think it would be remiss of us not to mention the late great Shane Warne his memorial service held yesterday at the Melbourne Cricket Ground there was many tears shed many laughs and stories regaled about the great man we'll probably never see another like Shane Warne he popularized the game unlike anyone else and he's much loved and much missed what a legend we've grown up watching him I'm not sure if you were a kid, but I certainly was. And so was Sandeep. He I, I, I was a kid once. <laughs> I'm not that old, come on. But no, he's the reason I bowled leg spin. I think he's the reason Sandeep Lamachani bowled leg spin. And it was fitting to see him pay tribute out, taken far too soon from us, the age of 52, the late, great Shane Keith Ward. That's the ball by Pekana. Right on the money, it's that extra bounce that the big man gets that's causing problems for Bertel. PNG have made a good comeback after that first over, which went for two boundaries. Get ready, get ready, boys. Only one run and successive dot balls in this over by Pukana. I was talking to Greg Campbell, the PNG CEO. He actually played a little bit at Victoria with. Shane Warren, right at the start of Shane Warren's career, right at the end of Campbell's career. Into the leg side, no timing, fortunate there for a single. He had a few tales. Everyone who met Shane Warren had a few tales about what he was like. One of the great characters of our game. But he played it with a joy, a joy to vivre and a joy that made everyone seem to like him and draw people into the game. Always smiling and having those conversations with his opponents as well he never seemed to be you know aggressive or angry Buds into the pad probably angling down the leg side it's not out but a good tight start this for png impressive stuff from their three seamers it's 16 for none 
उदयपुर को सुनढुंगा बाट तैयार कर बेस्ट सौर्य सीमेंट अफरो पेन्ट्स को नजीक को स्टोर मन पर्ने रन छो अति लोकप्रिय मोटरसाइकिल हिरो सुपर स्प्लेंडर so that's four different seniors used for the first four overs and good running will get Gertel back for the second that's good fitness again just what we were talking about smart running between the wickets as the boundaries had dried up nepal making sure that the runs keep coming a few heavy breaths there being sucked in at the higher atmosphere by nasiana pakana punched down the ground it's sort of those two boundaries in the first over not the aggressive dynamic start we're used to from this pair well, something was happy with having lost the toss he said he would have batted for us anyway I wonder is there a little bit of mind games in that picked up that's more like it from Asif Sheikh and the player of the match from yesterday gets one right out of the middle of the bat just one bounce and thuds away for four too short from soper at his base a welcome boundary for nepal was very comfortable and pulled it with ease no fielder out there in the deep four runs no oh dear i think our hospital team needs some work in their fielding that's not the technique guys come on you got to get into position get your hands out don't shy away from it no time in this time it's been a single yeah it's been a remarkable journey when you think about it 50 t20 internationals for the pal side and it all started back at their maiden t20 world cup appearance back in 2014 a tournament that many of the team that are in fact playing here today have spoken at length about how it inspired them to get into the game the likes of Rohit Powell and Kamal Singh Iyer even the captain Sandeep Plamachani he said he was inspired by watching the 2014 World Cup appearance the one and only World Cup that the home side have ever appeared at and it was Pabudi Dasanayake who was the head coach then and this is the second era of Dasanayake and it looks like he's building for the future he's building a young team here full of teenagers full of young talent the team actually looks a bit balanced as well because despite the young age they've got plenty of experience in terms of matches as well players like sandeep nicely driven what's really interesting is, is if we look back at that 2014 side now that's only 8 years ago so you might expect there to be several players involved in that squad we'll come back to that four gone 24 for none The counter will continue and he's been clipped away for what's surely going to be a boundary. The outfield's rapid here. It pierces the infield and that's the slightly shorter side of the ground. You're always going to get good reward. Four more to Asif Sheikh. He moves into double figures. Well placed and timed. Fukana wanted to continue his impressive first over in terms of economy, but this was well timed, well placed, and there was no chance for the fielder. Asif looking impressive one more time. Yes, 
we were just talking the over prior about that 2014 T20 World Cup squad and believe it or not there's only one player even though it's only eight years on that was involved in that T20 World Cup that is in the current T20 squad and that's Sam Palkami we've seen the retirements for Paris Kadke and the legends of the game like Shakti Gochan, Basanta Regmi they've gone, they've moved on there's some still involved in the mix of things Guy and Mala, Jitendra Mukia and Binod Bandari one day on the leg side which is a wide Pranit Bari as well but some just drifted away the likes of Rahul Vishwakarma and Anil Mandal and Subash Kakarel they've just kind of fallen out of favour some of them maybe not even playing domestically anymore and what Basimayaka has done is he's said I've actually got a more talented crop of youngsters that I can mould and craft and take forward to build a brighter future for the game here to make sure our next T20 World Cup appearance isn't a one-off. But it will be one of many. As Asif Sheikh just gets a fine inside edge on this. Onto the pad as well. Runs away, beats the keeper, beats the fine leg in the circle. Four more to him. And the likes of Sheikh and Bertel, they're at the heart of the future. And this is growing to become a good partnership for Nepal. Having lost the toss, put the bat first. Impressive so far. And as you mentioned, Andrew, this young crop of cricketers, they actually need more tournaments like this at home and abroad. Nicely bowled right on the money and big lift through to the keeper. Yeah, they're so important. They, they'll get the ODIs, whatever the case, 36 of those over that three-year period in Cricket World Cup League 2. But T20 international cricket outside of that is restricted to qualification pathway events whether that be for the Asia Cup or the T20 World Cup. So you have to give great credit to CAN, the Cricket Association of Nepal, for organising this tri-series, and let's hope there's many more here. There's the appetite for it, there's no doubt. And what about getting some even bigger teams here, maybe the likes of a Test Nation here? What if Ireland could come? What if maybe we could get Zimbabwe or Bangladesh here? It would be a great opportunity, not just for the Nepali cricketers, but also for the fans who deserve better tournaments. This being a beginning, a beautiful beginning to what could be a great journey if all the stakeholders of Nepali cricket come together and make that effort. And I know from the Irish and Zimbabwean cricketers who've come for the Everest Premier League, they'd love to come back. Oh, yes. really enjoyed their time here, the likes of Kevin O'Brien, Paul Sterling, Ryan Burrell. Sikander Raza. Five overs gone. We're going to have a commentary change after this. It's just a solid start for Nepal. It's 34 for none. Thank you, lads. Now, two com new commentators in the commentary box, and we'll take you forward from here. 34 for none after five Nepal, and this is the venue. It's much brighter than what it was yesterday. See, for the University International Cricket Ground in Kirtipur. The batting guard so far, it has been a cautious start, you'll have to say, from Nepal. 15 of 16 for Kushal Burtel. Asif Sheikh, 17 of 15 as well. On to the sixth over. And my partner in the comment box is Ejaj. Wonderful shot. Good afternoon, Ejaj. Thanks a lot. Thank you very much. Hope you're enjoying this uh, wonderful day of cricket. Sunshine. And uh, importantly, stars of Nepal. They are playing like this. Wonderful. Bit of wit. And look at the beauty. He has earned that to the super double boundary for four. What a wonderful hit. Very watchful, 38 for naught. Well, on pitch, uh, Sachana was uh, having one view that it's a very important game for PNG. They will have to make wise decisions today. Down the track again. Thick very well. So they will have to make oh, wise boy. decisions that how they will be carrying this game because uh, winning the toss oh, to me, I think this pitch is really good. And if you are playing a pressure game, you have to set a target like 180, 190, might be 200 plus, so that your bowlers will be having something to bowl on. Because under pressure, 
when you are chasing, I think you make lots of mistakes. Down the track again. One of those length deliveries, Moria here. Predictable for Asif and Kusal. Asif and Pipe coming down the track twice in this over. Keep going, keep going, boys. Matthew Hayden oh, walk, isn't it? I know, yeah, I know. Really popular, the Hayden walk. Especially in the 2007 World Cup where Matthew Hayden, I believe, was in the form of his life. We as young cricketers try to imitate him. It was a stylish thing to do on the cricket field. Yes, and uh, to the Nepali fans, we want to share you one thing, that Nepal has scored the highest 238 versus Netherlands here at this very venue. And that was in the first inning when they were batting first. So, Nepal cricket team, when they were batting first, they scored big. Second highest, 236 versus Bhutan. It was in the South Asian Games. Again, coming down the track, walking down the track, underarm throw would have kept... Umpire interested not to be though. Good batting. Very good batting. Boundary on the very first ball of this over. A cover of runs in the second ball and followed by singles. It's not only about boundaries, mind you. Yes, this is the shorter format of the game. We need to score boundaries and audiences now coming in numbers like they have in this whole tournament. Driven. Officially. Down the ground for a single, and that's the end of the sixth over, 44 for nine. Videsh bata IME gare ko paisa sidhe hi tapai ko mobile mali na milche. Apno mobile nikalos, IME pe download garnos. Ani ghar basi basi, apno rakam prapta garnos. Aba IME garo. IME pe ma prapta garo? Sajil lay. Introducing the Curious Apache RTR 204V, engineered to adapt. Jagdamba Super Sign to Galva Plus Jasta Papa. Jeevan Bharko Bharosa. Power play, in fact, six overs, 44 runs. Nepal going at 7.33, but that rate can go higher as the innings progresses. And this is already a threatening partnership for Papua New Guinea. Yes, exactly. No doubt. Fine leg is up. They have got long leg in place. Bukeri should be bowling uh, some sort of length deliveries. But I think that uh, line should be more accurate, like middle and off. If you've been giving a width to these batters, they will surely hammer you. Oh, this was full. Inviting for the drive there. I think Riley Hikuri will look to cut the piece off the ball. Make the Nepali batsmen to apply force all by themselves, not to allow that not allowing that piece to capitalize. They bowled a lot of slow deliveries in the previous matches as well, Papua New Guinea. Balling from the Chovar end here, Riley Ekure. Briefly known as Mehbubala man, as I said. Short third man has been brought into the circle. A leading edge, an easy catch, the softest of dismissals. It was a very unlike Kusal Burtel innings today. 17 of 19, exactly how he wants to open his innings. This is one of the softest dismissals you'll ever see. Well, I think he was in two minds, either to play to a on side or played it with a straight bat leading edge. Comfortable catch. And Ukeri surprises the batter here with this one, just making it to a front side. So, Nepal lost the first one here at 44 runs. Seventeen for Kusal Bhutil. The TV is Apache RTR 204V. Udaipur ko sundhunga bata tayar kariye ko the best Saurya cement. Rangin manaun hos afro zindagi Apollo paints ko saath ma. Introducing the TV's Apache RTR 200. Squad initially, but thanks to his hundred, 
One twenty-six runs of just hundred and seven balls with a fantastic strike rate. Kisoida, Kisoida, number two, number two, Kisoida. Sandeep Lanishani and Coach Pubudu to rethink, and he is brought into the team for this Tri Nation T20 International Series as well. Oh, down the ground. It's something else about the batsman in form, isn't it? Yes, every team requires that uh, the informed batters should be coming on, giving a good start, like first six overs. Nepal was really watchful. And uh, for the first time, the Flint here in seventh over, and they lost the wicket of Kushal. He was looking good. The long side. In the first one hard. Are they coming for the second run? Yes, excellent running. Excellent running from these Nepali young batsmen. Presence of mind, realizing that it was the bowler who had to go and put in the chase and completed the second run easily. Yes, uh, he was watching. That, uh, on side in 30 yards, they have got the space. They can really play with the soft hands and can take a couple of runs. And exactly, you're right. It's a presence of mind. And again, a good boys to see him to return for a second. Yes, Kiso! Good luck, Kiso! He's uh, slowing his pace down. Walking that uh, express at this time. And I think so that he got the wicket when the ball was just keeping the trough. I think so it held its line. And the batter was in two minds. A really an impressive over so far. Lukiri is going to deliver the last ball of this over. Ooh. Beautiful delivery. Held its line, in fact. A hint of outswing too there from Riley Hickory. A wonderful over, three runs, and the first wicket for Papua New Guinea in this over takes the score to 47 for one. Bidis Bata, I am Igareko Paisa, Sida Itapaiko mobile Malina Milch. Apno mobile Nikalos, I am Ibe download Garnos. Anikar Basi Basi, Apno Rakam Prapta Garnos. Aba, I am Igaro. I am Ipema Prapta Garo. Sajile. Introducing the TV's Apache RTR 204V, engineered to adapt. Jagdamba Super Sun. Their set man, Kushal Burtel. Rui is the new man in inform Rui Fodil. Did a wonderful looking on drive for a single two in the previous over. Only three runs of that over from Riley Hickory has brought Papua New Guinea right back into this match. Lega Siaka now with his leg spinners. Shot. Not the kind of delivery you do want to start your over with. Lucky for Lega Siaka that it went to Sesebao, who was there for the protection in the deep mid wicket reason. Siaka should be looking here to break or to get any sort of spin. On the surface, but he's unable. They are, oh. they are coming back for second. Quick run, quick run, excellent pickup. Well, this is exactly a good batting, as you spoken earlier. The good presence of mine always earns you some runs. And here, he's watching. There's a gap. Hey, there's no not there. He's getting two runs. I am able. Get, get ready. You can see, I got onto his third delivery now. Short, wide, cut. I'm not sure if it's right, right approach from Legacy Aka to bowl to Nepali batsman. He's bowling way too shorter. Well, Sachin, uh, I was going through the second wicket highest stand for T20 uh, for Nepal is 145. Paras and Asif Sheikh, Arif Sheikh, the second wicket stand. So, that was in Singapore. Goes big this time, Rohit Podil, the man in form, and he's cleared the boundary with ease. That has gone on to the roof. Wonderful shot gets the crowd going too, and the DJ is now busy with his music. Excellent. Clean hit. Agriculture. Sort of shot here. Just patching it to a soft side. And look at the beauty. This is Cole Nariel over the rooftop. And into the stands. What a wonderful hit. And this was required to take off the pressure. What PNG was about to build on the on Nepal. So this partnership again building up more than 50, Oi. so 57 to be precise with one. 
Shot again pulled. This time finds the gap again. A boundary to follow after a towering six for Rohit Prodel. Rohit is going very aggressive at this point of time. Legacy Aka, as I said, not the right line and length to bowl the Nepali batsman. Amma, Amma, wait, you know, Amma, Amma, boy. this easily, and it has been the result too. Yes, good pick up. Good pick up the spot between the two fielders. Turn, but harmless turn there for Lega Siaga, just a single. So it is uh, really a good over for Nepal. Eight gone, 62 for one. Ma super sign to Galva Plus, just a papa. Jeevan Bharko Bharosa. विदेश बटा आईएमई करें को पैसा सीधे ही तपाईं को मोबाइल मलिन मिल्छ। आपनो मोबाइल निकालनोस, आईएमई पे डाउनलोड करनोस, अनि घर बसी बसी आपनो रकम प्राप्त करनोस। अब आईएमई करों। आईएमई पे मा प्राप्त करों? सजीले। उदयपुर को सुन्दुंगा बाटा तैयार करिए को the best सौर्य सीमेंट। So Riley Hickory, the wicket taker in the previous over, will continue with keeper up. Slow run, beautiful delivery. And this is I what Papua New Guinea did so very well in the previous match against Nepal. They've used their medium pieces to perfection, oh, balling those off cutters, the slower ones, not giving the piece oh, yeah, for yeah, Nepali yeah. batsmen to deal with. I think that is the right ploy, the right idea to approach Nepali batsmen for the Papua New Guinea bowlers. Oh, yeah. Lick. For a single, thought of coming back with the second not to be this time. Well, such and to me that uh, at this stage, the PNG is allowing the batters to rotate strike, watch out for some of the bat spaces like bat deliveries, in fact. Like uh, anywhere, they've been picking up the spots and scoring some massive runs. So they need to cut down those runs. Me and my friend from Pakistan, Ajaj, in the commentary box. Taking you along this contest between Nepal and the visitors, Papua New Guinea. It's a must-win game for Papua New Guinea, mind you. Riley Hickory. It's interesting how a small session of play or short patch of play can change the course of the game in T20 format, isn't it? The momentum can swing so very easily. One wicket from Riley Hikure has brought PNG back, did bring PNG back into the match, but then that, those two deliveries from Rohit Portal, six and a four, changed the course of the match again. Yes, that's why it has been said that the cricket has been game, a sort of thing that which has been played with the senses. If you're keeping your nerves cool and you've been uh, batting well, you're bowling well, you need the weaknesses of the opponent. So this is where the homework. It's been all the time necessary before going into the next game. Played easily towards the leg side for a single. See that? We have seen that uh, only two runs came, three runs came in this over. But these three should not be coming like, uh, it should be like couple here. But leaking of runs that PNG should be stopping here, cutting down and uh, more fielders should be nearby so that the batters can try over the heads of those fielders and can make mistakes. They should change plan B. Slow run again, miscued. Did not judge it to perfection this time, Asif Sheikh. But no harm done eventually and that's the end of the ninth over. 65 for one on Nepal. We are TR 204 V. Udaipur ko sundhunga baata tayyar kariye ko the best. So no man banua. So no man banua. 
has brought has been brought brought back into the attack by captain Asadwala went for 10 runs in the first over two boundaries from Kushal Butel and only two boundaries when Kushal Butel was looking very comfortable oh this was a close one Asif Sheikh trying to cut it was too close to his body yes uh, that was a good height you know things so that uh, we are all the time praising the curator that uh, cricket association of nepal who has been putting a good pitches here so that the batters can enjoy the luxury of good batting they have been trusting the surface scoring massive runs 935 runs in first three t20s kudos to all the groundsmen including the curator straight to the fielder was there to be cut Asif, not the kind of innings yesterday. He was very, very fluent yesterday. He scored 57 runs in quick time. It has been sensible innings today. He's not been that fluent. Yes, you're right. He's batting well, according to the position, the situation, because they need to set a good target. Pulls it this time. Does the ball have enough? Yes, it has. In fact, it's cleared. The fence with these six runs signals Buddhi Pradhan, the umpire. Breaking the shackles, Asif Sheikh takes the scoreboard to 72 and he's batting at 38 now. Excellent hit. That was uh, whipping up from the good length. Can look at that reply. He will just go an area, taking it full advantage right underneath of the bat when the batter is high up for a swing and uh, earning six runs. So, in this over, I think, so they have completed the runs quota for anything like couple, boundary, single, which will be a plus here. And they have put Norma, Norman under a huge pressure. Norman Vanua, the all-rounder for Papua New Guinea. Short of one again, pulls again. And this time, it's Norman Vanua who is victorious. One too many for Asif Sheikh. Did not get the elevation right this time. I think he was caught in two minds whether to go in the air, look for the elevation and distance, or to go through the ground. Eventually got hold up, and this is another dismissal of Nepal. Yes, uh, that was in slot, and he was all set to play that. Can find a fielder, good catch, a right coming in here. Back up length, and he was uh, all set to play. I think so. He has just gone through the emotions of the previous shot that I'm in control and I can play that big, but uh, he couldn't do so in a force. He's RTR 204V. Udaipur ko sundhunga bata tayar kariye ko the best Saurya cement. Bravo Bank, the reason for your success. Introducing the TV's Apache RTR 204V, engineered to adapt. Bravo Bank, the reason for your success. Introducing the TV's Apache RTR 204V, engineered to adapt. Udaipur ko sundunga bata tayar kariye ko the best Saurya cement. Apollo Paints को कुने कुने नजीक को स्टोर मार गया रहा। अपने मन पर नहीं रहा। चंदूस। Sixty thousand students they study in this university. It's got a long history, and that's the beautiful Tripun University Cricket Ground. Towards the southern part of towards the southern part of Kathmandu. Beautiful venue. The memories. It's been 
such a beautiful part of my childhood this ground just to play here meant you could go to your school and brag with your friends get your name on the newspaper next day the best part of my childhood is aaj yes excellent wonderful memories and this is all when you've been passing through your lives with the different categories you've been doing job work education that you can tell the stories to the youngsters that how this ground was 15 years ago and today lots of improvement single now some bit of rebuilding needed for nepali innings here no one vanua straight after giving away those six runs took that important wicket of asif sheik was already set was on course for consecutive 50s asif sheik not to be on today's game scored 57 mind you yesterday well they are checking their fielders and this is exactly a good thing that they can restrict and contain nepal by scoring some massive runs and if uh, nepal would be scoring like anything 190 plus here png will surely finding top to chase short again not the best of the players against dipendra singh aidi who is so good square of the wicket especially on the off side the tremendous bat speed of dipendra singh aidi has taken the ball all the way to the boundary for a for a four this is the first boundary for dipendra singh aidi short wide dessert punishment all dipendra singh aidi needed to do was find the gap which he did in style Prarambha had joined me in the commentary box. Ten overs has gone, seventy-seven for two. Five A R T R two hundred four V. Prabhu Bank, the reason for your success. नेपाल में नवीन प्रविधि द्वारा उत्पादित जगदम्बा सुपर साइन तथा इंटरनेशनल क्रिकेट ब्यूटीफुली He is in form as well, and when you are in form, everything connects. Slower one this time. He likes playing it behind the keeper, but not this way. I'm certain. And brilliant diving effort this from Norman Vanua. He's everywhere. Great piece of fielding out there. Rohit wanted to be industrious out there, didn't make the connection that he would have ideally wanted to. But three runs. Here's the replay. <laughs> was not an intended shot, but was running for the boundary, except for that brilliant effort. And Devendra Singh Aidi, as soon as he is coming to the crease, Papua New Guinea will have to be careful. He can convert ones into twos and twos into threes. Hardworking cricketer. Got a boundary in the first delivery itself. Devendra Singh Aidi. One hundred in a losing cause in the second ODI against the same team, Papua New Guinea. Driven down the ground. This was touch full from Riley Hickory, who has been the best bowler so far. Only 10 runs, 11 runs conceded in 15 deliveries, and he has taken that important wicket of Kushal Butel too. Roy back in the strike, a great strike rate so far. His personal best in T20 internationals, being 34 runs, wouldn't want to do much better than that today. Get in. This time, tuck towards the leg side for a single. This pair so very quick in between the wickets, Prarambha. Communication is key, and talking about communication, the fans out there also cheering the moments of brilliance produced by both home and the away team. Quick single, quick single. In fact, they are thinking of going back for a second. What beautiful running! The margin of error so very.
That's when you have defender Singh Aidi and Rohit Pordel out in the center. They can convert ones into twos and they've just done that brilliantly. Only slight fumble there from the fielder. Well, Sachin, no boundaries in the over, but still eight runs. And that is good for Nepal. Flicked straight to the fielder. But they still complete the first run. In fact, the third with the second is well. That's the kind of cricket these two play. 11 overs have been completed. 85 for 2 on Nepal. The TV is Apache RTR 204V. Udaipur ko sundhunga baata tayyar kariye ko The best Saurya cement Bravo Bank The reason for your success I was the man of the series in the ODIs but hasn't lived up to his expectations in the T20s though Charles Amini Fantastic creator also, the seventh bowler to be used by Asadwala in this innings. That too only at this stage when 11 overs have been bowled. So it hasn't been a settled bowling attack so far. Legacy Aka was introduced as well, only to concede 15 runs in his first over. Riley Akure, very, very economical. And Charles Amini with his leg spins, will he make the difference? Yes! Won it. To score more out of that, but still gets a single. Dipendra, Charles Amini, a very important asset for PNG. Great with the bat, and also equally good with the ball as well. Picks wickets, the crucial ones, and could be the factor of difference here. Full toss. Not the kind of connection Roy Bordel would have wanted. That was almost a free hit for him. He would be disappointed to miss out there at Roy Portal. This ball deserved to go out in the stands. It was there to be hit. Let's see. This is dangerous Come bowling on. from Charles Amini. Shorter one this time. Two full in the previous occasion and wonderful running again. On the toes always depend on Zing Aidi especially and Roy Portal comprehending beautifully. The pressure on PNG because of their running is immense. Despite the relative shortage of boundaries, Nepal would not be concerned. Slaps this one. Gets a single. Thinking of two again, Dipendra. That is how he approaches his game. Always ready for that extra run. Makes a huge lot of difference. Oh, you know that the batsmen are fit enough. And they're looking, their intention is to convert ones into twos. It puts extra bit of pressure to the fielders, fielding. They'll have to think of collecting the ball and releasing the ball as soon as possible. And when pressure is added, that's when you have the chance of committing those fumbles and misfields. Very, very unforgiving. These extra runs collected by Nepali batters could come back to haunt the PNG side despite the fact that they bat deep into their lineup so do Nepal. with eight wickets in hand we can actually expect Nepal to smash those massive shots now nice going across the line this time Rohit Pauli you'd also want to consider going inside out towards the extra cover reason I think that would be the better way to go he has those abilities as well Rohit Pauli Oh, this has taken, I think, the inner part of the bat. Will go all the way. The signal from fire is oh, from the bat. So that's the end of the 12th over. Ends with the boundary. 94 for 2 after 12 by Nepal. Keep going, boys. Keep going, 
Well, the 94 for 2, 7.83, the current run rate. They reach to somewhere 158 if they keep striking at that rate. But I think Nepal would definitely want to reach somewhere around 190 to 200. They've lost only two wickets. Little Dhoni. Looking like short this from Dipendra Singh Aidi. Produces yet another couple. Dipendra very confident. Throughout the series, he has been very productive for Nepal. Even before the home series, he's had great recent months in international cricket. There's long on, long off, sweeper cover. And team square leg for Dibena Singh Adi and Rohit Powdell. Keep going, keep going, Baras! Sopaina, Sopaina! Has brought, three, has been brought three, into the three, attack three, by Sopa. Captain Bala. Uses the jersey number 77, very popular. Same number that was used by legendary Nepali former skipper Paras Kharka. That's it, boy! He's on the onside. I think for a second not to be there. Numbers, numbers, Paramba. Obviously, the jersey numbers not that important in cricket as much as it's in football. Sanjam Regmi once learned numerology from somewhere, and then he started distributing numbers to the to, to his fellow players. Smashed, cut, no chance for the fielder whatsoever. That's uh, another boundary for Dipendra Singh ID. Was thinking of being innovative out there initially, but had to decide against it, but still produced those four runs. Have a look That's at it. Boy. The fielder probably might have done better out there. They cross the leg side. This time they will come back for the second run. Wonderful batting, wonderful cricket from the Singh Ayi and Rohit Powell. And coming back to the numbers, interestingly, Sanjam Rigmi distributed just the numbers to all his uh, uh, fellow teammates. And that was a tournament when Nepal went on to lose all their matches. Are in four for two. That's the score. Cut again, not the right line to bowl to Dipendra Singh Aidi. Small fumble will again allow Dipendra Singh Aidi to come back. What good running this from the two youngsters. The stats on the doubles taken might be interesting. Nepal ko ati lok priya motorcycle Hero Super Splendor Udaipur ko chundunga bata taiyar gariyeko the best Saurya cement Jagdamba Super Sign tatha Galva Plus jasta pata jeevan bhar ko bharosa Introducing the TVS Apache RTR 204V engineered to adapt विदेश बटा आईएमई करें को पैसा सीधे ही तपाई को मोबाइल मनी न मिल्छ। आपनो मोबाइल निकालोस, आईएमई पे डाउनलोड कर। 106 for two, 26 for Rohit Powell, 22 for Devendra Singh Aidi. It's not only boundaries that matters in cricket, isn't it? Devendra Singh Aidi has come in, two boundaries to his name and a couple of yeah. as well. This has gone high, very high, in fact. What matters is the distance, and it has cleared the boundary with ease. Another six to Rohit Powell. Let's have a look at the replay now. Just stood there and delivered a massive, massive six, which is very close to us, Sachin. Right to the commentary box. Went to the moon, Pradamba. It went really very high. Hey! Might need helmets the way Rohit Fordel is batting right now. Oh, this is a bad delivery. 
full, very full, straying in the line as well and deservedly punished by Rohit Baudel. Ten runs from the first two balls, that was going wide. And with the fielder inside the circle, Rohit made the most of it. A tired looking Charles Amini, considered the six and a boundary now. Hasn't lived up to his expectations quite in this T20. Oh, this has been swept hard too, but protection this time saves Charles Amini. I don't think that's the right line to ball to the Nepali batsman. Keep going, keep going, Paras! He seems to have lost the edge from the one day internationals because ODIs and T20s, different ball games. The approach should be different in both of the formats. Think of the timing on this one, Devinder Singh, are it must be fat fatigue as well. Praramba because they had a tour of UAE before Sale. coming to Nepal. But if you're an international cricketer, that cannot be an excuse, isn't it? They've also been playing back-to-back -back matches, the ODIs and then the T20s as well. Oh, this is swept, swept hard. And the crowd on their feet. That's a boundary, another boundary, the second of the over. 1-6 as well. This is turning out to be an expensive over here for Papua New Guinea and Amini. 122 for 2 now the score. Nepal will and truly in course of a massive score here. And Sachin, well, Rohit has moved past his previous highest score of 34 in T20 internationals. Already into his 40s and is very confident. Must be finding the balls coming to him as footballs. I like to say this is Rohit 2.0. That we are witnessing, he looks much more determined. That's the end of the 14th over. One, two, two for two. Nepal. Videos bata IME gare ko paisa sidhi tapai ko mobile mali na milche. Apno mobile nikalos, IME pe download garnos. Ani ghar basi basi apno rakam prapta garnos. Aba IME garon. IME pe ma prapta garon. Saji lai. Introducing the TV's Apache RTR 204V, engineered to adapt. Jagdamba Super Sign to Galva Plus Jasta Papa, Jeevan Bhar Ko Bharo Sa. Vidhyas Vata IME Gare Ko Paisa Sidhi Tapai Ko Mobile Mali Na Mil Sa. Aapno Mobile That's exactly the amount of runs they scored in the first T20 against Papua New Guinea. The Vendor Singh is very good towards the offside. Especially when the length is short, he can produce those flashing cut shots. Riley Hickory in his fourth over has been the most economical out of the other seven bowlers used by Asadwala. Clicked very well. In fact, well enough to carry towards the fielder. And against the run of play, Rohit Baudel will have to be dismissed here. It was towards the leg side. Flicked well. Could not clear the boundary and did not play it through the ground as well. Meaning that Rohit Baudel will have to disappear from the center. Seems very frustrated with that shot. Didn't have that connection and straight down the throat. It was on the pads to be hit, but there was a filter well placed and no mistakes out there. Much needed wicket of Rohit Bodo. The TV is Apache RTR 204V. Udaipur ko sundunga bata tayar kariye ko the best. Saurya cement. Rangin Manoros Afro Zindagi Apollo Paints Ko Satma. Introducing the TV's Apache RTR 204V, engineered to adapt. Vidhis Vata IME Gare Ko Paisa Sidhi Tapai Ko Mobile Mali Na Mil Cha. Aapno Mobile Nika Los, IME Pe Download Gar Nos. This breakthrough, Nepal going at 8.58 Nova. We often talk about momentums in games, and this just could be where PNG can crawl back into the match. Just a single. 
Esto sí. So the stage is set for the young Adil Alam. Riley Hikiri has picked up his second wicket. Easily the best bowler for his team. This fourth T20 international of the Sky Exchange Tri Nation series. Slow one. Brilliant bowling. Brilliant bowling and equally good running from Dipendra and Adil. Pushed Adil Dipendra. Hari is known for his quick running abilities. Talking about Adil, only 18 years of age, has played for province number two in the domestic circuit. Thank you, sir. Creates in the likes of Binod Das, Sanzam Regmi, Mehru Balam. They all played for province number two. In fact, Mehru Balam played for province number one. It used to be reason number one then, before Nepal. Went on to the federal structure that we have in the constitution now. Five reasons you should play them. With five hours left, Nepal having wickets in hand must be looking to score somewhere in the region of 180, 190, Sachin. Nepal would be disappointed if they do not get to somewhere close to 190. Cut again, cut hard. Coming back for the second, this will be close. Oh, better throw would have made the umpire interested not to be, though. 15 overs have been bowled. 129 for three. Change. Left arm over. Ready, go the best. Saurya cement. The TV is Baje RTR 204 V. So into the final five overs we go. Andrew Leonard stepping into the box alongside Ijaz Ahmed. Good afternoon, Ijaz. How are you today, mate? Good afternoon, Andrew, and uh, good afternoon, everyone. Really enjoying this wonderful carnival of cricket, Tri Nation series, and uh, what a wonderful time we're having here. Impressive partnership for the third wicket between Irie and Powell. Powell's career best in T20I cricket. And coming a few days after, that was a sparkling maiden one-day international century. Future so, so bright for that young man, 19 years of age. And Dependra Singh Irie, he's become the rock in this middle order. Rather than a poorly batting lineup. And great to see another youngster given a chance, Mohamed Adil Alam. In at number five for his first bat. Just feels like the production line keeps churning the young talent out here. And look at how quick Dependra Singh Ayri is. It's almost impossible to get threes at this ground. He's now got two of them. Yes, exactly. Good running. And uh, he knew that uh, the final is up. That's why he's taking that route and uh, getting three runs. Well, Nepal has scored 238 at this very venue, which has been their highest total in a fast inning against uh, Netherland. So that I think that 50 plus should be there in last five overs. You yeah, just wonder, will they be a little greedy and think of 200? 200 on this wicket would be a very good score, probably around 175 par again. That tends to have been a pretty good effort batting first and. For Papua New Guinea, they are in some jeopardy. If they lose today, they lose control of their own destiny, of their own fate. And they'd be reliant upon the Holy side beating Malaysia and then PNG having to beat Malaysia as well. Poor delivery down the leg side and only half a glove, so going to be two more free runs to the total. 
Well, to me, that uh, the decision of uh, it's a wide delivery, falling first. I think that PNG should be, though they are a good chaser, they had done good while chasing some big targets. But today, I think the pressure it's a pressure game for them. Should be batting first, putting like 180, 190. I think that they will be 50% in skill side. Even if they continue with their current run rate, they'll get up to that 175 mark. But I just think they'll be wanting a few more than that. To Pender Singer, he's such a clever cricketer. He's added that power range hitting to his game. But look at him. He's 33 off 20. He's barely hit a shot in anger. He's just worked the ball around, run really hard. Powerful on the cut and strong down the ground. And so far, they're rotating. They're not been going off to the bowlers. So let's see when they will change the gears. Not just yet. Tight stuff from no, Rea, And they won't come back for the second this time. It means Ari will keep the strike. 16 gone. 140 for three. Udaipur ko sundunga bata tayar kariye ko the best Saudi cement. Travel Bank, the reason for your success. And the home side and this ever burgeoning swelling home crowd are going to be hoping for a strong finish they won't just want to win today they'll want to win and stay perfect throughout the series five back-to-back t20i wins is the target for coach papudu dasanayake had breakfast with him this morning incredibly kind humble gentleman and he's much loved here across the great land of the himalayas and rightly so led them to their first t20 world cup their first ever and so World Cup appearance to date, where they were so unlucky not to get through to the latter stages, taking two wins from three in that tournament. And although they just missed out this year, I don't think it's going to be too long before they're back on the global stage at the big events. Interesting delivery, that one, just left alone by Irie. I think that uh, really good presence of mine is watching the feet of the batter. Because uh, Singh was coming down the wicket and he saw him made it or Yorkland away from him good impressive this is really good thinking getting a dot delivery more dot deliveries should be there so that they can contain the uh, Nepal here it's the Yorker again that's two in a row right into the block hole the first delivery defender Singari almost ended up wrong footing or snookering himself as he came down trying to anticipate the line and length and this time it's the wide Yorker right on that guide wide line good bowling from Pakana good skills from the big tall left armor he's got two left he'll probably bowl these two remaining over 17 and 19 from the Chobar end three consecutive dots where will they turn then what other options will they look at for the two other overs overs 18 and 20 I think he's overdoing in this over might be that they have got plans set from 17th over or we'll be looking to accelerate the run rate but not not like this this has been, I think that you're right, he's not footing properly. He should be staying there in his crease and wait the ball to come, come to him and then play. Because fine leg is up, he can improvise from there, down the leg side. Into the sky, but no real timing, just going to be... We will get back for a couple, in fact, because it's been that badly hit, if that makes sense. Didn't allow Chad Soper to get into the ball quickly. Yeah, highly impressive young man, defender Singh Ari. I love the way he goes about his cricket. It's a long way to go. High scoring. One of the leading run scorer in Nepal. And I think so. He has got lots of fans. They are watching him online at YouTube, and television in Pakistan and out in, in Nepal. Thank your pardon. And uh, around the globe. ball in this this time a change up on a good length so not the Yorker but the slower ball it's an extra bounce that Pakana possesses particularly to the two very short in stature 
the poorly batters are finding it difficult to deal with. That's exactly. The inter crowd has increased in numbers. Part to the Akai because uh, the boundaries are not coming for the local side, for the home team. What they've been waiting for. Next three overs. If really a boom boom inning can come up, the ball will surely be coming to them. This is a great over. Four Yorkers in it. Four dot balls resulting. And at the end of that over, it's a very tight one. It's 143 for three. Gamba Super Sign to Galva Plus Jasta Pata. Jeevan Bharko Bharosa. Introducing the TV's Apache RTR 204V, engineered to adapt. 29, the standout knock so far though, definitely Rohit Powdles, his career best. And there's the options for PNG, where will they turn? Surely Pekana will bowl the 19th, but who will bowl over is 18 and who will bowl over is 20 then? Yes, so let's see that uh, how the ballers would be doing in the center because I think that the previous over was good one. They need to capitalize how they have done here. And uh, still, he has got two more overs to go, the normal. And uh, I think they're pretty expensive in first two overs. Know that he has got a wicket, but he needs to come back quickly in these uh, two of his overs remaining in his quota. Be Norman Vanua to bowl overs 18 and 20 but he's been hammered away it's gone all the way for six didn't sound to me like it was out of the middle at first but he's muscled it that's the added strength that defender singer he has got he moves into the 40s big hit for six into the leg side well they are taking in a Norman because he was pretty expensive 21 runs in a fast two over this time pitching it short yeah look at that hammer it he was ready to flat out into the signboard. What a wonderful hit. Tries to repeat the dose. Has he got enough of it? Of course he has. Defender Singari starts the 18th over going bang, bang. 6-6, six, six, the same shot, almost an action replay. Vanua continues with a short ball tactic. It hasn't worked. Iri moves to the brink of another T20 I-50. Oh, what a shot. Excellent. 12 runs in two deliveries. The previous over was in favor of PNG. But here... This over is turning towards Nepal cricket and look at the fans, they were pretty quiet in the previous over, waiting for such kind of activity, what we've been, been wa wa waiting here. And now Dipendra Singh is just making them to laugh, to cheer, in giving a good LD run rate. Oh, what a start, 6-6. Six, six. Very similar strokes, both very impressive. Back live now, can he make it three in a row? He won't make it three in a row, I don't think, but he will get four. That's a brilliant shot. In fact, it's gone all the way. How has he got that for six? To Pendersing Iri, wrists and hands like a genius. And that's outstanding batting. He's gone six, six, six off the first three deliveries of Norman Vanua. And he's gone to another T20 I-50. It's come from just 29 deliveries. It's his fourth. What a knock this is. Excellent hitting. Superb timing. Just slightly backing away, right in the middle of the bat, and look at the rocket. This is going at big backward point. What a player, what a knock he's playing. 29 deliveries, 55 runs. He's finishing it on a high note. I can't believe he's got that for six. That is unbelievable batting of the highest quality. Look for all money like it was going to go for one bounce four, but look at the wrists. How has he got the elevation underneath that to just creep over the rope? Here we go. He won't join Jaskaran Malhotra, Herschel Gibbs, Chiron Pollard and Yuvraj Singh in that unique list of international cricketers. If it's six keep sixes keep in and over, up. but what a start it's been. 19 from just four deliveries and that's a real boost to the home side and the home crowd. Yes, massive. This is really a massive over for Nepal cricket. And the fans, they are on their toes. Phil Lervar on their toes in the previous over, but not now. They've been badly hit, and Norman, he's been too expensive. The answer works to the youngster on debut. Adil Alam beaten for pace, but gets through with a poor piece of glove work for a single. 
didn't see the umpire signal boys there, did you? Oh, I don't think so. Because Motte, that, that was not somewhere near to the bat. Has to go down as a dropped catch then in theory. With a run to Adil's total, bring Ayri back on to strike. <laughs> Bang, into the offside. Should run away for more runs and it's going to be four this time. What a brilliant over. Mainly thanks to the bat of defender Singh Ayri. It's gone for 24 runs. With 18 gone, it's 167 for three. Was, uh, starting flashing it hard for the short third minute and getting full runs excellent hitting to you international cricket ground There's something about this young side I just feel like they're going places Maybe that qualifier last month just came a little bit too early for them. And they were so unlucky within that, winning four or five matches. Future looking very bright, in my opinion. And another youngster trying to make his mark, and he's going to get a boundary into the leg side. The attempted Yorker from Bacan is dug out, and it's dug out very well. He moves to double figures in his debut innings. Excellent. His mind is working. Both of these two players' minds, they are working like computer. What exactly the gaps are? See that that has been a fair bit of time. If a fielder was would have been there, he could start it. But look at the gap, what a what a he has picked here beautifully. Adil goes on ten in six deliveries. The adventure of youth and the brilliant innocence of batting from young Mohammed Adil Alam and no shortage of skill either. It's clearly targeted the leg side, clever cricket. Gonna try and do the same. This one is gonna go miles all the way, not just into the crowd, it's gone out of the ground. He's on his debut, and what a shot that is! A moment to remember for the youngster, and he's got the home crowd dancing. Miladil's uh, province must be happy here at this stage. The coaches, the back family at home watching him. He's really a boom boom lad. Just in seven deliveries, approaching to 16 runs. What a knock he's playing. You can almost see the adrenaline coursing out of his veins. What a moment, what a buzz for the youngster. His first ever appearance in front of a big home crowd. He's not just hit it for six. That one's still going down the hill, down towards Lalitpur. That is massive. Excellent, clean hitting. What a wonderful, he has picked up that ball earlier. And just go near the and crowd is off to the ball. So another souvenir for them. Couldn't believe how big it was. They were trying to settle under it, trying to finally affect the crowd catch. The only people affecting the crowd catch there. The people selling the trickets outside the ground, the little snacks. That one's gone huge. Brilliant batting. Ten from the first two balls. One seven seven for three here. Gonna try and repeat the dose this time over the offside. He'll definitely get a boundary. Will he get a maximum? Of course he will fact it's also a no ball so seven to the total it's all gone calamitously wrong for Papua New Guinea over the course of just eight legal deliveries 24 from the previous over and 17 from the first two and this brilliant batting back-to-back -back sixes again you know what then you because he was going to play towards onside baller watched him fished it towards offside and he approached that delivery and hit it a massive six seven runs and look at that that's a wonderfully hit well, that's an outstanding shot because again it's barely missed the block hole it's actually not that bad a delivery we're seeing Pekana he's overstepped with his front foot that's why it's been signaled as a no ball almost the Yorker but instead a deal goes very deep in his crease and he's read that it was going to be the Yorker and he's managed to get an over extra cover for six not just over the rope but in fact up into the grass banks that's a spectacular shot the shot of the innings exactly exactly really enjoying this wonderful cricket from young Nepali lad Adil, who is on 22 in just eight deliveries. Australia has got enough bit of time that he can continue, can go forward towards his 50. What a knock that would be if he can acquire 50 runs. 35 runs from the last seven legal deliveries. 
He's going to have to re bowl this one. It'll be a free hit, remember. There's the free hit signaled. And for Vinay Kumar Jha, the crowd are all on their feet now. What a buzz we have. This has been the high point of the series so far. They're not just looking north at 200. They're going to go well past that. Oh, the helicopter shot. Look at this young man. 18 years of age. Take a bow. It's not the Hendra Singh Dhoni out there. It's young 18-year-old Mohammed Adil Alam. The shot of the series. Wow, beauty. Brilliant helicopter. Reminds all of us. MS Dhoni shot. And look at the beauty. This is gone. Landed at long on. Into the stands for a mighty hit. What a inning he is playing here. 28 runs in just nine deliveries. I have absolutely no doubt that he's learnt that shot from watching the former brilliant Indian captain Mahendra Singh Dhoni. It was his trademark stroke, the helicopter shot, and it's been executed outstandingly. It was obviously a free hit, he could do what he wanted with it. But it's another six. The sixes are raining down here in Kathmandu. And Papua New Guinea, they're like a punch drunk boxer. And the pole are telling and landing knockout blows everywhere. They're staggering around the ring right now. They need to get off the pitch. And they've still got nine more deliveries to bowl. This one's hit into the sky. It's not going to go all the way. And it's been put down. Parried for four, surely. The crowd love it. I think it might not have quite got to the rope. He's stumbled and fallen before he's attempted to take the catch. And the youngster has a life. This one didn't come out of the middle. What drama. What action we have here. Well, you can't expect better debut than this. When the gifts have been coming towards you, it was quite an easy catch. But unluckily, from PNG points of view, that... Uh, he couldn't uh, grab it properly given the life how costly this could be for PNG wait and see we'll come back to that replay in a moment to Pender Singari tries to join his partner and oh my god what a shot that is the over before I couldn't believe he's got it for six over the offside but it's six more to the total in the interim I think they've run three runs it's chaos out there in the middle they're on the brink of 200. Outstanding batting from Dependra Singh Iri and young Mohammed Adil Alam. What a wonderful hit. You're just slicing it. Look at the beauty. What a timing. The man is there. It's gone over his head. This is massive hitting. Clean hitting like good bullets and rockets. They've been flying all over here. Mind you, this is extremely good batting. The run rate goes higher. Almost 11 runs per over. 32 runs from the over, would you believe? If this goes for six, I'm not sure an over's ever gone for more than 36 in a T20 international. It's the 1500 T20i today. We're in the pole about to make history. Can the Pendersing Iri hit this for a maximum? He's going to try and do it, but it's gone miles into the sky. It's not going to get over the rope. Can a fielder get there? He can, and he's been dismissed. That is the most action-packed over, I would say, in the history of those 1500 T20 internationals. 32 runs and a wicket. You wouldn't believe it. And Dependra Singh Iri sprints off the crease with the attitude of the champion, the tiger that he is. He's gone for 66 from just 33 deliveries. What a knock. Beautiful, excellent. You have to stand for him. Everyone is watching him. Well played, well played, excellent. This is the wicket. He's gone across, went high. Couldn't get the distance, but elevation was there. Defendra Sengiri, caught by Ura, bowled by Pakana, 66 runs, so it's 199 for four. This is the IME Gare Ko Paisa Sidae Tapai Ko Mobile Mani Na Mil Chha. Aapno Mobile Nika Nos, IME Pay Download Gare Nos. Ani Ghar Basi Basi, Aapno Rakam Prapta Gare Nos. Aba IME Gare Ho. IME Pay Ma Prapta Gare Ho? Saji Lai. Introducing the TV's Apache RTR 204V Engineered to Adapt. TV is 204V. 
Aaron Casey. It's going to be in at number six. Just one over remains. It won't be Vanua. We're going to go to Vagi Morea because Vanua was that expensive. It's going to be a wide. The 200 comes up for the sixth time in the Pulls T20i history on their 50th T20 international. I can't think of a more entertaining one than this one in the history of their 50 games. And uh, what about highest 238 versus Nederland in six deliveries if they can hit like I don't think so that 38 runs can come <laughs> well, it very nearly came in the last over if defender Singari but at the last ball for six it would have gone for 38 carnage has ensued here at the TU International Cricket Ground this one just squirted away it'll bring the youngster on to strike that might be no bad thing despite Karen Casey's big hitting antics because Mohammed Adil Alam has 31 runs from 10 deliveries and the 18th and the 19th overs they remarkably you won't believe this if you're just tuning in they went for 56 runs in 12 balls excellent heads off to these guys they've been smashing every delivery and they have dented ball as well here Tries the helicopter shot again, but he's wrapped on the pad. And umpire Buddy Pradhan, with that raising of a finger, silences the home crowd. But what a knock it's been. I want to only focus on the positives of that one. Today he'll never forget his first in the colours of Nepal, 31. A slower one delivery, right in front of the stumps. Would have been going and hitting the off stump there. Good decision, umpire. Well done. So this is the full wicket down here, Nepal, where Muhammad Adil Alam scoring 31 in just 10, 11 deliveries, 205, 201 for 5. Introducing the Kiwi's Apache RTR 204V, engineered to adapt. Udaipur ko sundunga bata, tayar gariye ko, the best, Saudi cement. Still if nothing down it. Number seven, and after all the action of the 18th and the 19th overs, feels a little bit like after the Lord Mayor's show now. And Nepal will just look for one or two late boundaries to make sure they go in with all the advantage. But what a game it is! It's remarkable life being a fast bowler at the death. Nasiana Pakana bowled the 17th over, he went for just three runs. He was brilliant. He hit four block hole Yorkers, tried to do the same in the 19th over, he was smashed for 32. Dilip Nath is going to hit one up here towards the long on fielder. It will be taken. Not out of the middle of the bat. So his second T20I ends in a second ball duck trying to hit out and help the team. And wickets are plenty. That's three wickets inside four deliveries now. So Dilip Nath departs here on a second delivery without troubling the scorers. Nifal losing in this fashion. He can't blame the batter here. He was trying hard to get over the long on. So it's 201 for six, Nepal. Hero, hero, super splendor. Nepal ko ati lok priya motorcycle. Hero super splendor. Jagdamba super sign tatha Galva plus jasta pata. Jeevan bhar ko bharo sa. Rangin Banaulos Afro Zindagi Apollo Paints Ko Satwa. Karen KC has heaved this one into the sky. This could be a chance for the bowler. He pedals after it, takes a good catch. Two and two for Morea. His innings has had almost everything. May will have a hat trick. He's got three wickets in the over. Be looking for a fourth. Karen KC's big hitting exploits aren't seen today. A clever change of pace deceives the batter from Gabby Maria. Well, Karen KC was uh, trying to follow the footsteps, but uh, this is where he couldn't do so. So, seven wicket down. Karen KC goes for duck. It's 200 for seven, Nepal. 201 for seven, Nepal. <laughs> Get out, get out, get out. 
Introducing the TV's Apache RTR 204V, engineered to adapt. Udaipur ko sundung. Won't be the hat trick. It'll end up with three wickets and four deliveries, though, and a couple of runs to the total. Amajani feigns to run the third. Early Sheikh squirts that away for a couple, and after all of the excitement and madness and chaos of the 18th and 19th overs, it's a pretty tame end in the end, but you've got to give great credit to the left armour, Kafumi Bagamorea. He was given the task of bowling the 20th over after Vanua was smashed in the 18th, and rightly so. It was an outstanding one, three wickets in four balls. And he's going to finish with three for 29 to just give Papua New Guinea some hope. Will be almost exactly 10 and over they'll need. It's good batting conditions. They won't be out of this chase by any means, but certainly Nepal, the happier their two sides, particularly their captain, Sandy Flamajani. Uh, Nepal did well today. Know that uh, PNG winning the toss with uh, one. घर बनाने के लागी एक आर का मा भरोसा सही ना है ना रा भरोसा हो ना एक आर का मा विश्वास सही ना है ना रा विश्वास ले दिन जा हर एक संबंध लाई जूनी भरी को साथ बनी जानी राम रस संबंध साथ जूनी के लागी बने को उनसा प्रस्तुत था जगदंबा सुपर साइंट तथा गैल्वा प्लस साथ को साथ अत्याधुनिक गैल्वलूम हर एक मौसम बाटा पूर्ण सुरक्षा, उच्च मजबूती, उत्कृष्ट रंग कोटिंग प्रविधि, उत्कृष्ट गुणस्तर परीक्षण, गार्ड फिल्म कोटिंग, नेपाल में नवीन प्रविधि द्वारा उत्पादित जगदंबा सुपर साइन तथा गैल्वा प्लस जस्ता पाता, जीवन भर को भरोसा। Bravo Bank, a reason for your success. बल्ला भेजियो। सुन जस्ते सुन ढूँगा खानी। Best चाहनुनी हर कुलागी the best मात्रा उपलब्ध कराव दे। The best Saudi cement। मेरो हीरो सुपर स्प्लेंडर नेपाल को अति लोकप्रिय मोटरसाइकल हीरो सुपर स्प्लेंडर अपोलो पेंट्स को कुने बने ना जीत को स्टोर मगेरा आप लोग मन पढ़ने रहम चंदूस Bravo Bank a reason for your success Introducing the TV's Apache RTR 204V engineered to adapt जगदंबा सुपर साइन तथा गैल्वा प्लस जस्ता पाता जीवन भर को भरोसा Bravo Bank a reason for your success. Mero hero, super splendor. Nepal ko ati lok priya motorcycle, hero super splendor. Jagdamba super sign tatha Galva Plus jasta pata, jivan bhar ko bharosa. Bravo Bank, a reason for your success. उनलाई पटाउने आस छ बेकार तेरो सास छ फ्रेशो ब्रेथ मेरो पास छ के म तिम्रो जीएफ भन्ने चान्स छ फ्रेशो ब्रेथ 100% माउथ फ्रेशनर मात्र रु 1 मा जगदंबा सुपर साइन तथा गैल्वा प्लस जस्ता पाता जीवन भर को भरोसा फॉर एवरी माइल यू कंकर देयर इज अ थ्रस्ट for every bit of pride you achieve, there's a thrust. Behind every successful venture, there are multiple hearts. Behind every blissful individual, there's a thought. There is always a logic, a motive, a purpose for everything. When you are the reason for someone's happiness, 
We are here for yours. Bravo Bank, a reason for your success. Rangin Banaulos Afro Zindagi Apollo Paints Ko Satma. Bravo Bank, a reason for your success. जगदम्बा सुपर साइन तथा गैल्वा प्लस जस्ता पाता जीवन भर को भरोसा नेपाल को अति लोकप्रिय मोटरसाइकिल हीरो सुपर स्प्लेंडर Bravo Bank, a reason for your success. Jagdamba Super Sign to the Galva Plus Jasta Pata. Jeevan Bhar Ko Bharo Sa. The TV is Apache RTR 204V. For every mile you conquer, there is a thrust. For every bit of pride you achieve, there is a thrust. Every successful venture, there are multiple hearts. Behind every blissful individual, there is a thought. There is always a logic, a motive, a purpose for everything. When you are the reason for someone's happiness, we are here for yours. Bravo Bank, a reason for your success. Balla Petiyo, Sunza Stay Chundhunga Khani. Best Zahanuni Arukulagi, the best matra uplabda garaudai. The best. Saurya Cement. Introducing the TV's Apache RTR 204V, engineered to adapt. Bravo Bank, a reason for your success. नेपाल को अति लोकप्रिय मोटरसाइकिल हीरो सुपर स्प्लेंडर घर बनाने के लिए एक आर का मां भरोसा सही ना है ना रा भरोसा हो ना एक आर का मां विश्वास सही ना है ना रा विश्वास ले दिन चा हर एक संबंध लाई जूनी भरी को साथ बनी चाहिए राम रस संबंध साथ जूनी के लिए बने को उनसा प्रस्तुत था जगदंबा सुपर साइन तथा गैल्वा प्लस साथ को साथ अत्याधुनिक गैल्वलूम लाइन प्रविधि बड़ो बने को टिकाऊ तथा खिया प्रतिरोधात्मक हर एक मौसम बाटा पूर्ण सुरक्षा उच्च मजबूती उत्कृष्ट रंग कोटिंग प्रविधि उत्कृष्ट गुणस्तर परीक्षण गार्ड फिल्म कोटिंग नेपाल में नवीन प्रविधि द्वारा उत्पादित जगदंबा सुपर साइन तथा गैल्वा प्लस जस्ता पाता जीवन भर को भरोसा सुनना होती हर एक मोड में बेटी इंसा संकल्प चाहिए इंसा जिंदगी का गंतव्य में पुकना हर एक संकल्प लाई रफ्तार दीना टीवीएस रेडर एनिमलिस्टिक हेडलाइट स्टाइलिश नेकेड डिजाइन और त्यागिक पिकअप चमता उच्च ग्राउंड क्लीयरेंस उच्च लचकता और त्याधुनिक र सक्ति साली इंजन अंडर सीट स्टोरेज र चार्जिंग पोर्ट 
टीवीएस रेडर रफ्तार जिंदगी को प्रभु बैंक द रीजन फॉर योर सक्सेस नेपाल में नवीन प्रविधि द्वारा उत्पादित जगदम्बा सुपर साइन तथा गैल्वा प्लस जस्ता पाता जीवन भर को भरोसा नेपाल को अति लोकप्रिय मोटरसाइकिल हीरो सुपर स्प्लेंडर उनटाने आस बेकार तेरे सास फ्रेसो ब्रेथ मेरे पास फ्रेसो ब्रेथ हंड्रेड पर्सेंट माउथ फ्रेशनर मात्र रू एक प्रभु बैंक A reason for your success. घर बनाने के लिए एक आर का मा भरोसा सही ना है ना रा? भरोसा हो ना एक आर का मा विश्वास सही ना है ना रा? विश्वास ले दिन जा हर एक संबंध लाई जूनी भरी को साथ बनी जानी राम रस संबंध साथ जूनी कला के बने को उनसा प्रस्तुत था जगदम्बा सुपर साइंट तथा गैल्वा प्लस साथ को साथ अत्याधुनिक गैल्वलूम लाइन प्रविधि बड़ो बने को टिकाऊ तथा खिया प्रतिरोधात्मक हर एक मौसम पूर्ण सुरक्षा उच्च मजबूती उत्कृष्ट रंग कोटिंग प्रविधि उत्कृष्ट गुणस्तर परीक्षण गार्ड फिल्म कोटिंग नेपाल में नवीन प्रविधि द्वारा उत्पादित जगदम्बा सुपर साइन तथा गैल्वा प्लस जस्ता पाता जीवन भर को भरोसा घर बनाने के लिए एक आर का मा भरोसा सही ना है ना रा भरोसा हो ना एक आर का मा विश्वास सही ना है ना रा विश्वास ले दिन जा हर एक संबंध लाई जूनी भरी को साथ बनी जानी राम रस संबंध साथ जूनी कला के बने को उनसा प्रस्तुत था जगदम्बा सुपर साइन तथा गैल्वा प्लस साथ को साथ अत्याधुनिक गैल्वलूम हर एक मौसम पूर्ण सुरक्षा उच्च मजबूती उत्कृष्ट रंग कोटिंग प्रविधि उत्कृष्ट गुणस्तर परीक्षण गार्ड फिल्म कोटिंग नेपाल में नवीन प्रविधि द्वारा उत्पादित जगदम्बा सुपर साइन तथा गैल्वा प्लस जस्ता पाता जीवन भर को भरोसा प्रभु बैंक रीजन फॉर योर सक्सेस सुन जस्ते सुन ढूंगा खानी। बेस्ट चाहनुनी हर कुलागी द बेस्ट मात्रा उपलब्ध कराऊं दे। द बेस्ट सूर्य सीमेंट। मेरो हीरो सुपर स्प्लेंडर नेपाल को अति लोकप्रिय मोटरसाइकल हीरो सुपर स्प्लेंडर अपोलो पेंट्स को कुने बने नजीक को स्टोर में गया रहा अपने मन पर नहीं रहा चंदोस प्रभु बैंक डी रीज़न फॉर योर सक्सेस इंट्रोड्यूसिंग डी कीवीज पाचे आरटीआर 204 वी इंजीनियर्ड टू अडैप्ट जगदम्बा सुपर साइन तथा गैल्वा प्लस जस्ता पाता मॉबिका स्थापलिया शुरू करो on the money to start with it looks to me in spite of all the rumors and some of the silliness and nonsense talked online it looks to me to be a very happy camp the Napoli side can't agree more especially after their comeback losing that ODI series 2-0 to PNG it was not anticipated in the script but that's what happens in cricket sometimes things go in an unexpected manner Karan Kisi bowling from the Chobar end Driven down the ground, but no real sense of timing. And Ramachani will get the dive out to keep it to just a single. Always love hearing from everyone on social media as well. Messages coming in, and I think the fans are more than a little excited after that 
display of hitting. This one coming from Saylesh to me at Cricket Badge. You can get me on Twitter or Instagram. Wonderful batting display from Deepu and Young Adil. The Young Nepali team looks to have a very bright prospect for the future. We've had one new star in the making in every series, isn't it? Rohit Powdell 2.0, that's what I called. This comeback, wonderful comeback, 126 of 107 runs in the first ODIs. Adil today proved his medal too. And Casey will be bowling his, the first over of this innings. Somebody from Papua New Guinea, Andrew, will have to play the knock of his life today. Yeah, and there's probably been a little paucity of top order runs for Papua New Guinea. It's generally been Norman Vanua who's bailed them out. He's got 98 runs in just two innings so far. They need something not just from Vala and Siaka, but numbers three, four, and five in the order. Amini has not lived up to the expectations. He was superb in the ODIs. He struggled a bit in the T20 series, the Tri Nations. Fixed is set for him to come and smash the ballers today. Hook shot into the deep. There is protection out there and it's gone straight to him. So Karen Casey strikes early. The top order woes continue for Papua New Guinea. It was almost all too easy, wasn't it? And Legacy Aka, he's holed out in the deep. Papua New Guinea have already lost their first. Legas Yaga had the license but needed to execute this better. It is short, pulled, no oh, proper elevation and the distance too, and easy catch eventually for Asif Singh. Yeah, really well held actually by Asif Sheikh in the end. Of course, he usually is a wicket keeper, but to meet Nath has the gloves. That's the first wicket to fall. Papua New Guinea. They are two for one. Introducing the TV's Apache RTR 204V, engineered to adapt. Balla Petio. Sunza Stay Tsundunga Kani. Best Zahanuni Arukulagi, the best matra uplabda garalde. The best. Saudia Cement. Apollo Pains Cook. Picked up wickets in regular intervals throughout the series, Karan Gisi. A very useful cradle for Nepal. And the reason for the big celebrations, we didn't call it at the time, but a 50th T20 international wicket for Karan KC. That was why the hair was getting a pat and a rub from all the teammates. Landmarks falling aplenty. The second man to get there after his captain, Sandy Plamachani. Congratulations to Karan KC. Such a wonderful cradle. Came from India, spent the early time of his childhood in India, came back to Nepal to get into the national cricket team. Played a lot of tennis ball cricket in India, Karan KC. He loves an Instagram post as well. You've got to get onto the gram and follow him. I've seen the setup of some of those photos, they take hours. He says to Sampal, no, no, get my hair right, get the lighting right. <laughs> and then in goes the Instagram post, all the followers love it. And the leg side just cannons into the pads. It's going to be the first boundary of the innings, but it'll be leg boys. Good start from Karen KC, though. Just two runs, one run against the bat, five leg boys. The score, one gone, six for one. So Balgami, his first over yesterday was a very expensive one. 16 runs given away by Sompal. He can go for a run, Sompal Gami. He's a wicket-taking bowler. Idealizes Delstein. Yeah, and I was talking earlier with Paramba about the fact that he's the only member of this T20i squad. There is still some other active players around, the likes of Gyanendra Mala, Sharad Vasakar. But he's the only one in this squad, the T20i format, that actually played at that T20 World Cup back in 2014. So, life coming full circle 
Rakami under the same head coach in Nepal's 50th T20. Right? Just see in the background there, Vikram Napani giving some tape onto the fingers of Asif Sheikh. Let's hope he's all right. Just looked to do a little bit of damage, didn't he, as he took the catch? It did seem to be in a bit of pain. And when I started my triggering journey as a commentator or as an expectator, and when I got close to the national cricket team, Andrew, there was nobody senior than me, junior than me. Everybody was older to me. And now I'm older than everybody. So big transformation in just six, seven years. You're still looking young, Sachin. Don't worry. Don't worry. You're still looking young at heart. More messages coming in at Cricket Badge. Every youngster given his chance has absolutely justified his selection in both series, says Pachaksha. I couldn't agree more with that. I think that's spot on the money. And the great thing about this team, they still have the experience of Sampal, Karen KC, the likes of Sandeep, even though he's only 21, 22. He's very experienced. So it's a lovely mix of all the youngsters, the talent with the experienced players as well. And the exposure they've got in the young age is something that will create the difference. They've played big tournaments. They've seen Nepal progress to the ODI status from the Division 3 to 1. Karan Kesi, in fact, played the most important knock of his life, known as the Valentine's Day boy, Karan Kesi. Yeah, the miracle of Windhoek. Good fielding. Would have got, got home, but only just. I mean, he's very quick between the wickets. He's in at number three. But Vala has continued to look tentative, to not look in the finest of Nick in the shorter format. He, he's usually a batter in ODI cricket. He'll get you 80 off 110 balls, exactly what you want. But in the shorter format, he's struggled here, hasn't he? He definitely has. And it's kind of a tricky situation for Papua New Guinea because if they lose this match by a big margin, that'll mean that they'll also go down on net 100. It's a tricky situation whether to defend or go aggressive. Edged and edged just wide of a diving Dilip Nath to his stronger side, the left-hander. If first slip with his plate is in place, it would have been seven for two. Instead, it's 11 for one. It's been a touch unlucky in this series, Sompal Kami. His bowling figures does not exactly represent how he has bowled. I think he has bowled better than the runs he has considered in both the ODIs and T20s. But that's about luck as well, isn't it? Sometimes when things are going on your way, the edges carry to the fielders. Sometimes they don't. Oh dear, misfield from Karen Casey. He got himself in a muddle. Bala will just trot back for the second. Always good to hear from Raja and Shah, Momo Cricket, who we hear from online. Lovely tweet this one. Scary six hitting ability never seen before in Nepali batting conditions. It's freaked me out, he says, the talent of Irie <laughs> and Adil Ansari. It was a magnificent partnership, that one. That flat six towards the offside by Irie was something unbelievable. That was one of the flattest six I've seen in this ground. I think I made the error of calling it as a four before it had even gone over the rope. I couldn't believe he got it for six. Seven runs coming from that over. Papua New Guinea, yeah, 13 for one. Nepal mein Naveen Pravidi dwara utpadit Jagdamba Super Sign tatha Galva Plus Jasta Pata. Jeevan Bhar Ko Bharo Sa. Introducing the TV's Apache RTR 204V Engineered to adapt. Udaipur ko sundunga bata tayar kariye ko the best Saurya cement. Apollo paints ko kune kune na jitko store wale ra. Apollo man pane ra. Thanos. Great to see him back in full fitness. The two opening bowlers, KC and Kami, a huge miss at that global qualifier in Oman last month. What's your thoughts, Sachin? If those two were fit, would we be talking about a T20 World Cup appearance in Australia later in the year? I'd like to believe so because Nepal's prime Acers are uh, Pacers. East Pacers, Karan and Sompal both missing out and still Nepal got into a situation where one win would have made the difference, isn't it? They won four out of five and still unlucky to not qualify for that World Cup down under. Played away towards a third-man fielder. 
It's Karen KC, it's Sampal Kami, the two men we were just talking about combined to find the second wicket. Asad Olavala's disastrous T20I series continues. The PNG captains to dismissed for one, thanks to a good catch from Sampal Kami down at third man. This is why, this is why these two were so missed in that World Cup qualifiers in Dubai and the UAE. Let's have a look at this. Give himself some room there, Asad Vala was successful in the ODIs and as Andrew mentioned, not proving the point in T20s. He's been dismissed. Just one run in six deliveries and that's 13 for two. In the Sky Exchange.net T20 Tri Nation series, powered by Daffa News, PNG. If they lose today, they will not control their own destiny. The reason for that. If Malaysia happened to beat Nepal in Nepal's last group game, it would be a Nepal versus Malaysia final. However, if Nepal win that and they stay perfect four from four, it'll essentially be a winner-takes-all game between PNG and Malaysia. But the critical thing is going to be net run rate. And that's why Papua New Guinea, even if they lose today, they've got to get as close as they possibly can. It's not a small target to plan that as well. Even if you want to get closer to 201, you'll have to build this innings now. Serious bit of rebuilding needed. 13 for 2 already, 2.3. Run rate well and below 6. Required run rate nearly 11 now, 10.91. And Karan Casey has already picked up 2 wickets, giving away only 1 run. It has already been a dream run for Karan Casey in the 9 deliveries he's bowled so far. Good shot. The first authoritative stroke of the innings is going to go all the way for six. Tony Ura on the swivel hook. He's done well to fetch that from outside off stump and get it over the leg side. It's ended up going over the head of the mid-on fielder. First six of the chase. Questions on Vala's decision to get Tony Ura down the order. Open the innings in the ODIs. And he's capable of doing this as well. Asad Vala was struggling. I think it would have been a better decision if Tony Ura would have opened. And just speaking of those net run rates, we didn't have them on our graphic, but Malaysia minus 1.23, Papua New Guinea minus 0.57. So for PNG to stay ahead of Malaysia on net run rate, they're going to need to make sure they get up past 140, 150, something in that region. Otherwise, they're going to not just be in trouble in terms of points, but also net run rate scenarios and those calculations Malaysia minus 1.23 courtesy con that convincing victory yesterday by Nepal only 13.4 overs that Nepal took to chase that low total from Malaysia so nearly the third wicket just chops onto his foot instead of the stumps six runs and a wicket coming from that over it's 19 for two Bajay RTR 200 4V. With this I am going to mobile money. You can get mobile nikalos, IMEP download. You can get it. You can get it. You can get it. You can get it. Introducing the TV's Apache RTR 204V, engineered to adapt. His way at the moment, Sampal Kami will continue from the pavilion end. Chipped into the offside and chipped into the gap. Kushal Bertel will keep that to just a couple. With the athletic ability, the, the fielding of this young side, it's really impressive. Pretty much so. They're all very athletic. They've started taking cricket very seriously. We hate we, politics, sorry, Sachin. We just love Napoli cricket and we miss you, Paris Kadka. Yesterday, that guy, 
He had the same sign, a different sign up in fact, and it said, keep calm and keep supporting Nepali cricket. Which I think is a pretty good motto for life, as we see an attempted diving stop. This one will run away for a boundary, a nice stroke from Amini, stylish. Do you like that message in the crowd, Sachin? <laughs> Has been the reality of worldwide, isn't it? It's a necessary evil politics. Anyways, 25 for 2, that was a very good shot. Found the gap. Charles Amini this time. You love your politics, Sachin. Come on, who are you kidding? I see your tweets. I have to get them translated by Google, though. That's the problem. And still don't quite make sense to me. Nice stylish stroke into the offside. Actually met that gentleman yesterday outside the ground. He brought his daughter yesterday. And posed for a photo with him. He loves his cricket. Comes to every Nepal home international where he can. Great to see the passion of the home fans, as always. This is nasty. This is nasty because Sompal is busy with his speed. It's not quite into the region we thought it might have been at first, but it's actually into the fleshy part, I think, of the stomach. This is going to hit him right in the lower abdomen. If it's about six or nine inches lower, it's going to be even more painful, but a body blow to CJ Amini. No protection there, though. The reason that Andrew is mentioning has protection. Sompal Gami can be very nasty with his deliveries, especially when he gets those ball to get the ball to get extra bit of bounce. Yeah, he's one of those bowlers who probably surprises you a little bit for pace before you face him for the first time. It's not coming down at anything north of 140, but it's certainly nippy. Maybe in the 130 region. He actually clocked 141 in the World Cup. That's when we realized that Sumbal was faster than we thought he was. Himself and Karen KC, probably the two premier fast bowlers. They don't have the same pace of a, of a young Gulshan Jia, who's so exciting. Kamal Singh, we haven't seen much of the last couple of days. I was really impressed with him in Oman in particular. He led the attack in the absence of these two, and another youngster with a bright future there. Sompal was the talk of the town in Kathmandu when he initially arrived from India. Everybody was talking about him because we're, we're needing a prime fast bowler. Amrit Bhatrai was the spearhead of Nepali. Bowling line up with his left armors before Sompal arrived to the scenes. Great to hear the messages continuing to come in. This one from Krishna Samarpan watching on from Brisbane in Australia. Great to hear from you. Must be late in the day there. Wondering if I've seen any significant changes in the captain's approach from Sandeep Lamachani from Gainandra Mala. Look, every captain has their own style, don't they? And Sandy Plamachani is a young captain making his way. The thing I've been impressed with, he looks to me to be learning every single game and developing every game. He'll get better and better. Good over from Kami. Four gone. It's 26 for two. Introducing the Kiwi's Apache RTR 204V engineered to adapt. Nepal में नवीन प्रविधि द्वारा उत्पादित जगदंबा सुपर साइन तथा गैल्वा प्लस जस्ता पाता जीवन भर को भरोसा उदयपुर को सुंदरगंगा बाटा तैयार करिए को the best सौर्य सीमेंट मेरो हीरो सुपर स्प्लेंडर नेपाल को अति लोकप्रिय मोटरसाइकल हीरो सुपर स्प्लेंडर Jagdamba Super Sign to Thai Galva Plus Jasta Pata. Mahendra Singh Ari, he was outstanding yesterday. Four overs, one for 14. I thought he was the pick of the bowlers. In fact, he's going to come on with his off breaks from the Chobar end now. Mahendra Singh Ari will be more handy against Charles Amini. He can also get the ball to come back in sharply with, with, with the arm. That's his top delivery. Not a big turner of the cricket ball, Mahendra Singh Ari. It has been picking wickets at regular intervals and has been an asset to his captain. Yeah, but he's a very clever bowler. Watch him in his gather, in his bound, as he comes in to deliver the ball. He angles around the crease, uses the angles cleverly, but he also watches the batter intently and then changes his trajectory and his line as such. Speed too. He's been varying his speeds pretty well. 
That is one reason why I did not let the Malaysian batsman to go after him yesterday. He was very economical, 15 runs in his four overs. Cut away, going to be four through the offside. The two fielders allowed in the deep in this power play. They're both on the leg side, long on and deep square legs. So short and wide is not where you want to go. And Or has picked that up nicely to move to double figures. So Charles Hamini and Tony Ura slowly building up this innings. Dented by a couple of wickets by Karan Kesey. This is easy pickings. Short, wide, deserved punishment. And it's going to bring about a, a change in the field as well. Karen KC will come scampering over to the offside and reinforce that cover region. Oh, was this a chance? Was there a tickle? Just a very fine outside edge. I think Iree believes there was, and Nath couldn't hold on. Was a tough chance. Do not mind because Nepal still in a comfortable situation, or else. Pressure would be on Dilip Nath. Goes after this one. Massive. All the way. Silent crowd will get the ball back to Rohit Powdell. Cannons into the Daffanew sign. Just over pitch this time. Been a bit of a, a mixed bag this over so far from Irie. Two full. Anora showing. He's continuing in good form. He's enjoying the move to the shorter format, in fact. That's a good strike down the ground. Over the head of Longan. Can't get this one away. Much shorter. And that's the delivery I was talking about before. The one that comes in with the angle goes away from the right hander, rather. Yeah, 56 against Malaysia for Tony Europe. He'll be looking to go past that. Five gone. We'll have a commentary change just now. It's 37 for two. Vidis Bata, I am Igor Kupaisa, Sidi Tapaiko mobile Malina Mills. Up no mobile Nikalos, I am a pay download Gurnos. Anik Harbasi Basi, up no a come prap the Gurnos. Oba, I am Igorum. I am a pay my prap the Gurum? Sajile Udepurko, Sundunga Bata, the Yargari Kuta. Welcome back to the commentary box, Ezaz, Nepal. Bowling well so far, Charles Zamini unbeaten at 14 runs from 10 with Tony Ura giving him the company at 16. Yes, exactly. Two wickets for Karan Casey earlier on, breaking through and uh, really a good start. Two over seven runs, impressive. But uh, PNG will have to whip up here. They need a sort of runs like, uh, they are three runs at least behind than the required run rate. So that Duffy said should be covered in next couple of overs. Straight aiming for the wicket in the block hole of Inash Bora. Talking about Charles Zomini and Tony Ura, this partnership will be very crucial, is as both of them have been great servants for their country and have produced great scores as well just when the country needed. But this is a tough one. Yes, you're right. This partnership will really work for PNG. As uh, since start of this game, I've been describing the need to give and make some wise decisions, what they were not been doing so earlier on. But not like this. Could be a good run, but they need some aggression here in power play when you have got the luxury of two fielders out of the 30 yards. That is exactly the time when you can go aerial, can bridge the gap between balls required and runs required. So after that, I think when Spinner will come on, come on Sandeep will really a, a threatening bowler today. So far, only two success in this PNG innings, both coming from the bat of Tony Ura. Swing, big swing without looking onto the ball. The ball is but just a bit doing it. I think so going away from the right hander. He should be watching the ball more closely. Avinash Bora, the fourth bowler being used by Sandeep out here. The replay wanted to go smash hard at that, but just didn't make the connection. Good delivery. So this is all about what Nepali bowlers and captain Sandeep is requiring here. 
but not like this in an overthrow and it has gone for four it's extra as a bit of misfield overthrows out there Sandeep the captain of Nepal must be quite disappointed with himself but well, would not be that concerned at the moment as PNG in the first power play the mandatory one have managed 43 runs the important thing here for Nepal is they picked two important wickets and don't want to they would not be wanting to leak the runs in this fashion yes so that was unnecessary at that time the batter was in his crease <laughs> walked it away but uh, straight to the fielder we'll see that that overthrow how much this can make a difference like five runs if that overthrow would, would not be there you can say like two runs here in this over which will be creating lots of difference with the boundaries dried up inside this ultimate over of the power play last fall pulls it but finds a fielder just a single to end the sixth over png 43 runs for the loss of two wickets <laughs> Epur ko sundunga bata tayar kariye ko the best Saudia cement. Rangin banao los afro zindagi Apollo paints ko saath ma. Mero hero super splendor. Nepal ko ati lok priya motorcycle hero super splendor. Udaipur ko sundunga bata tayar kariye ko the best Saudia cement. Nepal में नवीन प्रविधि द्वारा उत्पादित जगदंबा सुपर साइन तथा गैल्वा प्लस जस्ता पाता जीवन भर को भरोसा। The Nepali bowlers they are doing a good job. Change of bowling, Mark B. We will be looking here. Let's see if Mark come and can get some spin here. Rightly so, he's there. And I think so. It's a good move, Pramba, because a couple of wickets with a spin as the Nepal the uh, PNG batters, they are some sort of pra under pressure because they are chasing more than 200 runs. So it's a good move here. Well, Sandeep must be very happy with what his bowlers have delivered so far in the first power play. Pulls this one and will get, in fact, saved, saved by the fielders out there. Will curve that to just two runs, a couple. Well, Ajaz. Fourth match of the Tri Nation T20 okay. series. Three before this played. Two of them were won by the team batting first. And this time, Nepal, having lost the toss, were put to bat. A reminder for our viewers who've just joined us live on Kantibu Television and Cineplex. Yes, and uh, here I think so that uh, Sandeep is pitching the ball too short. He's allowing the batter to rotate it. And I think so that. Uh, as a spinner, you need to put good fast delivery in a right line so that the batter might be in two minds. That should it be spinning here? How I should be playing? So now the right hander, Tony Ura, he will be tested. He should be pitching a good, good, good move by taking a slip. Give some air. Well, this is going down, 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 and uh, going up here for a mighty six. And there you go with this uh, six. I think that uh, the confidence would have raised and 50 of a PNG in seventh over. Well, Tony, Tony Ura is one of the most destructive batters for PNG. He strikes at a strike rate of 140 plus. And Sandeep will not be happy with that six and might want to come back here. See again, good feeling, excellent. Excellent filling. Could have been a chance there. A non striking in. What a fielder he is. Defender Singh in 30 yards. Collected and released of the ball early. This has been really a splendid sort of thing from an inside 30 yard fielders. A complete cricketing package for Nepal. Dipendra. One, one. That was a good delivery. Which has been required here from Sandeep because uh, three first deliveries, he, he was just gone too short. If he's quick, trying to bowl some slot quickly through the air, he should be attacking on the pads like middle stump. 
so the right hander can be leaving it towards offside from off stump. Looks like it's going to be a couple to end the over. PNG 57 runs for the loss of two wickets in seven overs. Nepal में नवीन प्रविधि द्वारा उत्पादित जगदंबा सुपर साइन तथा गैल्वा प्लस जस्ता पापा जीवन भर को भरोसा उदयपुर को सुंदरगंगा बाटा तैयार करिए को the best Saudia cement अपोलो पेंट्स को कुने बने नजीक को स्टोर मार गया रहा अपने मन पर नहीं रहा थानोस Introducing the TV's Apache RTR 204V, engineered to adapt. Udaipur ko sundunga baata tayar kariye ko the best. Saudia. Sandeep was uh, pretty expensive, gone 13 runs in his first over. He's been slightly chain of fielding. Right, uh, Fana has just gone through at uh, short third man place. They've also sent back long on at boundary line. CJ Amini, over 400 fronts in T20, has uh, got paid after carrier. It's gone inside out, extra cover, beautiful shot into the gap for four. And this is exactly what has been the requirement of the time. Finds the gap perfectly, dissects it. No chance for the fielders and four crucial runs. Well, he's gone again, but straight to the fielder. I think so that uh, Singh is giving such a bit of space towards offside to the left-hander, CJ Amini. See that he is again giving a bit of the margin towards offside to cut it. I think he's good when he's bowling almost in a middle stump. Let's see if he can correct it. Another boundary for Charles Amini out here. After two quick early wickets, PNG slowly building this partnership and getting back in their zone. It's very important for Amini to continue as we've seen that he can be very destructive. He's already done that in the one international series against Nepal, won both the matches. Yes, but this time the delivery was uh, drifting down the leg side. It was quite dragging. Should be adjusting his line quite early to boundary already he's gone to a text stack out to the fielder but uh, i think so that was a chance there it was officially played the yeah, next track of a fielder he tried his level best to grab it did it drop short though looked like a clear chance 10 runs of the over so far PNG were two down for 13 on the board. Last ball of the derby, ending it with a single. Or did they take a double? So it's PNG 68 runs for the loss of two wickets in eight overs. Hero, super splendor. Nepal ko ati lok priya motorcycle. Hero super splendor. Udaipur ko sundunga baata tayar kariye ko the best and just 34 deliveries guys focus kar rahe ho oh boys let's go boys come on tendi Sandeep to continue. Again, too short. This is going down to the deep mid wicket. Well executed. Into the gap for four. No risk was there. And look at it beautifully. He has paved the way to a deep mid wicket. Beautiful shot. Growing and oozing in confidence. Amini, who actually hails from a family. Cricketing roots. 
is us. His grandfather, Brian, and his father, also named Charles, both of them were the captain of PNG. Good delivery. Good delivery. Yeah, you can bowl like this. You're really in senior pro now on the side. 50 plus wickets, Sandeep, and this is their 50th T20 international. Should be a memorable for Kane and for the players. He's appealing for it. I think so. The impact was down the leg side. Yes, exactly so. Good to see him. A good comeback from Sandeep after conceding that first ball boundary here in the replay. Pitching down the leg. It's a two by two at south side. I think so that uh, looking onto the baller like Sandeep, that the world has been watching him and can't keep the TV here, the local guys. So he's a superstar for the nation. He should be performing here. Sacking over, no wicket yet. But he's pitching too short. Just a single. Sandeep has been the pick of the Nepali bowlers, has been successful in getting wickets for Nepal among the top 20 wicket takers in terms of T20 internationals. Five runs so far. Let's see where they can finish this over. Scott Mighty, wait and see. Fielders and spectators can only watch it for a six. So 11 runs from this, 79 for two PNG after nine. Nepal mein Navin Praviti Dwara Utpadit, Jagdamba Super Sign to Thai Galva Plus, Jasta Pata, Jeevan Bharko Barosa. The TV is the Pache RTR 204V. The TV is the Pache RTR 204V. to continue well is us if we are to compare both the innings PNG in fact are ahead in comparison to Nepal Nepal by 9.4 overs had lost two wickets and had only posted 72 runs so PNG are still in this match good delivery good delivery defender Singh he's pitching in the right areas yes you're right since last five overs we had seen 53 runs without any wicket so this means that PNG doing a good job. They can capitalize what they have done, the hard work. Too much shot. A lucky that ball. Oh, baller this time has uh, just gone away from this. Otherwise, this delivery was really bad. Asking the punishment. Beautiful shot and might actually be curved for just two runs out there. A filler in the deep. Well, PNG. The current run rate standing at around 8.3. The required run rate almost 12. However, that should not be a matter of concern for them as they've got eight wickets in hand and they've got a long padding tail as well. Yes, you're right. Tony and uh, CJ Amini, both batters. They have got plenty of runs under their belts. They had international career. They have been through such kind of situation in the past as well. So they knew that when, ex when exactly they should be trying to attack on the ballers. This is going to become a very good over for Nepal. And as it has ended, only two runs from that. PNG 81 runs for the loss of two wickets with 10 overs gone. Watch ARTR 204V. Bravo Bank. 
रीजन फॉर योर सक्सेस नेपाल में नवीन प्रविधि द्वारा उत्पादित जगदम्बा सुपर साइन तथा ग्यालवा प्लस जस्ता पाता जीवन भर को भरोसा उदयपुर को सुनढुंगा तैयार कर बेस्ट सौर्य सीमेंट मेरो हीरो सुपर मेरो हीरो कति प्यारो अरु पनि होला राम्रो तर पनि मेरै हीरो प्यारो पाडेर ओहो तर कति सुन्दर राम्रो बाधा भने कति हो कति हो त्यसैले हीरो सुपर स्प्लेंडर नै प्यारो हामी माछ हीरो नेपाल को अति लोकप्रिय मोटरसाइकिल हीरो सुपर स्प्लेंडर प्रभु बैंक द रीजन फॉर योर सक्सेस अपोलो पेंट्स को कुनै पनि नजिकको स्टोरमा गएर आफूलाई मन पर्ने राम छान्नुहोस् box i've got andrew back with me andrew football and cricket two of the most admired sports in nepal do you play some football i play some terrible five aside football i enjoy running around but has it got a patch on our great game that's coming into your tvs right now it's a wonderful sport of cricket and what a setting it is here at the tu international cricket ground set amongst the lush green trees with those beautiful chobar that are the chobar hills behind us it's a little bit too hazy to see those hills but all eyes on this young nepali side the blue dasanayak is actually out on the pitch you can just see the the team huddle is breaking during that drinks break and lots of directions being given because papua new guinea are getting into this chase well in comparison to nepal in fact they are actually ahead by the end of the 10th over and with wickets in hand and two set batters charles amini 38 and tony ura 36 this looks it's going to be an interesting closer to this very important match for png did a great shot of the university buildings as well there up to the left the tribuvin university campus that this international cricket ground is based upon hope that drone doesn't go too far away might go missing on us fly back towards the ground lads come on It's all been about Tony Ora this chase. 36 from just 17 deliveries including four maximums. Strike rate of over 200. That's exactly what PNG need. Avinash Bora back into the attack and it is time for Nepal to grab some wickets out here if they are to win this match. Hey. Maybe that's an admission from Sandeep Plamachani that He's just struggled a bit, but the har has now played away. Going to be a perfect start after the drinks break for PNG, and no surprise, it's Tony Ora. The har has gone immediately to death. He's looked for the Yorker, misses it by six or eight inches, and Ora flays it away behind square for four. Tony Ora, continuing his state of mind of smashing, looks confident and just slaps it, finds the gap. The fielder probably could have done a bit better out there. Karan. Looks for the block hole and just gets the benefit of the day, but I don't think Tony Ora agrees with that decision. It's right around the wide line. It's just a guide for the umpires outside the off stump and then you know, Kumarja decides that that isn't wide enough to extend his arms a, a rare dot ball for Nepal. into the block hole again that's basically what Avinash Bharara does he does it with great consistency as well smart running between the wickets 
like Nepal did with Deependra Singh Airi and the partnerships Deependra built, PNG will also have to cash in on the singles and convert them into doubles out here. The couple is very important. This one surely will be a wide, yeah. Mahara looks back with a grimace, but good decision. That one definitely outside the guideline. Yep, clearly a wide. Avinash trying the wide Yorkers, making Tony Ura go hard and try and make some mistakes out there. The backward point is in place, so it'll just be one. The reason for that quite rare fielding position is because of where Avinash Bahar is targeting. He's targeting that wide Yorker to the right hander, so. Arif Sheikh able to cut that off. It will bring Amini on to strike. Or it does possess the only century in T20I cricket for Papua New Guinea. That came against the Philippines, actually, the same side that Kushal Bertel made his against. But he's going to probably need to double his score from here to give PNG real hope. Well, Amini now on the strike. It's been the quieter of the batters in this partnership. Not a natural hitter, but he's going to probably get good reward with four. He's a very stylish stroke maker. There's always a place for one, maybe two of these kind of batters in the lineup. They don't all need to be hitters. You think of Kane Williamson of New Zealand, Joe Root of England. You can get them in at three. They work the ball around. The hitters come at the other end. The partnership's working very effectively. Another batter in their zone probably is Babur Azam of Pakistan. Definitely not the greatest piece of fielding from Karen KC. They're trying to hide away their big fast bowler a little bit. Fine leg, he dives over that one. Gonna be more runs here, and I think it'll be four more because square legs up in the circle. So an expensive over right up with the required run rate. And with 11 overs gone, Amini and Aura are giving real hope. It's 97 for two. नेपाल में नवीन प्रविधि द्वारा उत्पादित जगदंबा सुपर साइन तथा गैल्वा प्लस जस्ता पापा जीवन भर को भरोसा Introducing the TV's Apache RTR 204V engineered to adapt उदयपुर को सुन्दुंगा बाटा तैयार करिए को द Required run rate just under two of all, so it is achievable, particularly with Norman Vanua to come and two set batters. I suspect we may see the big hitting Vanua at number five. But Amini and Ora have combined really nicely. They've rec rescued their side from a real spot of bother. They were 13 for two in the third over, and they battled back nicely. Ora's been the aggressor, Amini's been the stroke maker and the stylish left hander. <coughs> Worked really nicely with Ora. Ora's just chipped this down the ground. He's picked out Bertel though. I think he's got more of that than he intended. The change of bowling to Kami has worked. And Tony Ora's innings that promised so much has now gone. And the third wicket comes. Big advantage to Nepal. Tony Ura wanted to go for the maximum, but failed to clear the rope out there. Kushal Vertel makes no mistake. PNG 97 for the loss of three. Just take one quick look at the replay. It was aimed into the block hole. I'm not sure he was trying to hit this for six. I think he was just trying to work it square for a couple. It's got too much of it. Bertel takes the cash. Or has gone for 43. 97 for three. Bravo Bank. A reason for your success. Miro Hero Super Splendor Nepal ko ati lok priya motorcycle Hero Super Splendor Nepal mein navin pravidhi dwara utpadit Jagdamba Super Sign tatha Galva Plus jasta pata jeevan bhar ko bharosa 
रंगीन बनाउनुहोस् आफ्नो जिन्दगी अपोलो पेंट्सको साथमा The TV is Baji RTR Duelers of Charles CJ Amini Left-hander at the crease Joined by another left-hander Sese Bayo will be at the non-striker's end As the batters have crossed a, a law that will soon come out of the game With the updates to the laws from the MCC It will be the new batter to the crease No matter even if the batters run past each other in the air Trying to simplify the laws Possibly a pretty good evolution of them as well. But for now, Amini takes the strike and cuts that away brilliantly. It's a fantastic diving stop though from Avanesh Bahara. Three runs saved by the big fast bowler. Was slapped hard, but Avinash being congratulated by his teammates out there. Brilliant effort at the rope. Those saved three runs might come handy. Just take a look at this. Amazing effort. Great save. Great effort, young lad. It's all the better because of the slightly tardy state of the eight field. There's been very little rain. I think it's been over three months since we've seen any precipitation of any note here in Kathmandu. Or to be more exact here in Kirtapur, where we are about 15 minutes outside of the, the city centre. And it's very dry, very barren, the outfield. We can really do with some rain driven for a single this has been a great over and a good comeback from so far and Nepal wicket could be wicket to begin the over with and just two singles just what Nepal needed because Charles Lumini along with Tony Ura were looking very confident but with wickets in hand PNG are still in this match Cut away powerfully again, and Bahara is going to have more work to do. He does it pretty effectively. He will get back for the second this time. I mean, he will go to the brink of a T20 I half century. Another one for him. Just a quick stat update. Thanks so much to Bishwar Stata for sending me this one on Twitter. That 32 run over in the 19th over of the innings. The joint fourth most expensive over in the history of the 1500 t20 eyes we've seen so far top of the list of course the Yuvraj Singh and Kyron Pollard tied with those six sixes apiece coming for India against England and West Indies against Sri Lanka 14 years apart but there was a real chance for a moment of history here today as Bao and Gami get themselves in a muddle because if if Andrew Singh Ari had hit that last ball for six, we'd have had 38 runs from the over, never achieved before in international cricket. That free hit being converted for a six was a great opportunity, but wasn't to be. Here, a bit of <laughs> funny bit of incident out there. Uh, it's been played in the most magnificent of spirits this series, and you'd expect no less from two of the best sides on and off the pitch you'd ever want to meet, both Papua New Guinea and Nepal. They have a great culture around their squads and they do everything right off the pitch. Single for Amini will get him to 50. In fact, it won't or it will get him to 50. Just showing the wrong batter there. 40 deliveries, it's come off. That'll bring us to the end of the 12th though. We'll come back with more on that 102 for three. Bidhisbata bata IME gare ko paisa sidhai tapai ko mobile mali na milcha. Aapno mobile nikalos, IME pe download garnos. Ani ghar basi basi, aapno rakam prapta garnos. Aba IME garau. IME pe ma prapta garau? Sajilai. Introducing the TV's Apache RTR 204V, engineered to adapt. Introducing the TV's Apache RTR 200. Ramachani will bring himself back into the attack. 102 for 3 after 12, Papua New Guinea. Get into the offside. There's a field right there, won't carry to him. And interestingly, PNG side ahead of where Nepal were at this stage, even though they've lost one more wicket after 12 overs, the home side 94 for 2. Sandeep into his third over, yet to pick a wicket in this match. Let's go boys, let's go boys! 
he would want to continue his impressive form and streak of taking wickets for Nepal. Reverse sweep attempted. Maybe just coming off the glove. I think it's going to be given as runs. I'm not going to call that one a drop chance. It's maybe hit off the go, hip or go. something of Dilip Nath as well. Just a single for Bao. That required run rate's going to climb ever higher. Getting up north of to a ball now. Going over 12 and over required. And that's why the aggression is attempted in almost every stroke now. It's going to be a big, big effort back for up, 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 to get even closer. Two runs from that More. shot. Four runs yeah, from the first three deliveries. Some cheer in the crowd, spectators. Looking forward to another great finish of T20 match here at the Tio Crown. Maybe again from away. Will not even be the quick single as Bao and Amini got themselves in a muddle as we so often see at backward point. It's always the fielding position that causes confusion because the batter doesn't know whether he's calling or whether the non striker is calling. Both lucky to survive. Break this time. Fours and twos are not enough. A great diving stop from Kushal Bertel. Magnificent fielding. Very important save out there and being cheered and congratulated by the teammates out there. Fielding such an important aspect of any format of cricket, Andrew. And Nepal's fielding, as you've observed over the years, how do you assess the improvement or growth in the fielding side aspect? Just googly around the wicket, still no wicket today. That's the first time in 21 internationals in Madison. Yeah, have one more over though. I'll try and pick one up. 13 gone, two runs to the total. It's 109 for three. नेपाल में नवीन प्रविधि द्वारा उत्पादित जगदंबा सुपर साइन तथा गैल्वा प्लस जस्ता पाता जीवन भर को भरोसा उदयपुर को सुंदरगा पाता तैयार करिए को द बेस्ट सूर्य सीमेंट मेरो हीरो सुपर स्लेंडर द होम साइड पबुडू दासनायक ए ग्रेट टू सी हिम बैक ही इस गट ए ग्रेट रेस्पेक्ट एंड फॉलोइंग नॉट जस्ट फ्रॉम द फैंस बट ऑल ऑफ द प and he seems to me to be uniting this young side and building very much for the future. It's a bright future indeed. He's also got a great eye for the new young talents. PNG camp out there. Feel like having some oranges? <laughs> Definitely a little snack taken in, but a stroke of the beard as well. A little bit of confusion as to where PNG's chase is at. Ramp shot attempted, and he's got it over the head of the fine leg fielder who's up in a circle. So good innovation from Amini. He'll get a boundary to start this final over of Sampal Kami. Was wanting to go for a boundary either way. Makes a good connection, clears the filter inside the ring. Gets an important boundary. As he shake off the field at the moment, we do have a sub fielder on. We'll try and find out who that is for you. Looks like he's icing his finger. Let's hope he's okay. Gonna be back to back boundaries, both going behind square. This one not where he intended though. Off an outside edge. And the runs continue to flow here in Kurdapur. Charles Amini. So slashing hard, got the edge. Still runs away for four. 117 runs for the loss of three wickets. Still in this chase. I mean, he moves into his 60s. Seems like he's back in form. Look down the ground, there is a fielder down at long off. And it's going to go straight down his throat. Crucial Bertel doesn't drop many catches. And that's a pretty easy one. Four, four, and then out. And Amini 
has sadly given it away. It was his career best of 62, and he can't quite believe how tame that dismissal was. It's almost catching practice for long off. And a tame end to a very impressive innings. Made the connection, but was not adequate. And Kushal Burtel, one more time in the thick of the actions, does not miss many. Comfortable catch, much needed for Nepal. And the man outgoing is Charles Amini, 62 runs from 47 deliveries. Hero, hero, super splendor. Nepal ko ati lok priya motorcycle, hero super splendor. नेपाल में नवीन प्रविधि द्वारा उत्पादित जगदम्बा सुपर साइन तथा तो गैल्वा प्लस जस्ता पापा जीवन भर को भरोसा रंगीन बनाओ जिंदगी अपोलो पेंट्स को साथ अपोलो पेंट्स को कुछ नजीक को स्टोर में गएर आप मन पर्ने रंग छोपिनियन फॉर पापे न्यू गिनी it's big stormman norman venua he's been outstanding in fact he's been on fire with the bat so far but he's going to need to pull out something very special not just to win this match but even to get papua new guinea close they need 87 from just 39 deliveries but the big man who holds his bat like a tree trunk and flays the ball everywhere career strike rate with the bat well north of 150 would you believe 152 it's approaching he's at 34 sixes in just 29 innings if he can get going we might see a game still on here starts into the block or he's punched out and this is going to be very close and i'm not sure whether or not he can give this out i reckon if we had the third umpire facility in place i suspect umpire buddy pradhan may well have ended up going up there and the finger may have gone up eventually but I think because of the position he was in and how quick <laughs> look at the fielders are signaling for DRS there is no DRS not as far as I know in this so we'll take a look at the replay this looked very close it may well have been out looked very very tight and Buddy Pradhan despite oh wow it was it looked it looked like it was could be unlucky I have to empathize here with Buddy Pradhan because there's just no way he could have given this in real time far too close just wonder do we have this going up as a run out referral because there's a break and play it clearly is out and Harry shake look at his reaction if it runs through he can tell buddy Pradhan he had to sprint to try and get into position look at Harry shake he's saying buddy it is out I saw it I'm telling you I promise you buddy I was right in position I'm practicing for my next career it was out Harry and right he was, but I can't argue with Buddy Pradhan there. He couldn't give it out. He wasn't able to get around in time. And Norman Vanua survives. No ball signaled. We're going to have a free hit. Norman Vanua could have been a very important wicket. Norman, in fact, in his last two matches, has scored 40 plus. Scored a half century against Nepal, 52 and backed it up with 45 against Malaysia yesterday. The reason Buddy Pradhan couldn't give that out, he couldn't be certain, there's Kami just overstepping by margins, couldn't be certain from the position he was in, so he had to end up going to the default, not out. Here comes the free hit. Smashing to the leg side, just over the head of the fielder, and the outfield is pretty quick, and oh dear, that's going to be four. He's sitting on the rope. I think that might be Lokesh Bam, is it? The subfielder who's on in place of Asif Sheikh. So it's been an all action over, hasn't it? We've had three boundaries, a wicket. We should have had a run out. We've had a no ball and a free hit. And the end result is Papua New Guinea just staying in the chase. Sumpal in his fourth over. Quite an eventful over this. PNG. Having lost four wickets, have posted 123 runs. I will keep the strike. Don't go anywhere. Could be boiling up to a very good finish. It's 124 for four. Jagdamba Super Sign to Galva Plus Jasta Pata. Jivan Bharko Bharosa. 
विदेश आईएमई पैसा सीधे तपाई को मोबाइल में लिना मिले आपको मोबाइल निकालोस आईएमई पे डाउनलोड कर घर बसी बसी आपको रकम प्राप्त कर आईएमई कर आईएमई पे में प्राप्त कर उदयपुर को सुनढुंगा बाट तैयार कर बेस्ट सौर्य सीमेंट रंगीन बना जिंदगी अपोलो पेंट्स को साथ मेरो हीरो हाफवे स्टेज नाउ नॉट जस्ट द ग्रुप स्टेजेस बट द होल टूर्नामेंट टू मोर ग्रुप गेम्स रिमेन आफ्टर टुडे इन द स्काई एक्सचेंज डॉट नेट टी20 ट्राई सीरीज नेपाल पेरो बाय डाफा न्यूज़ द होम साइड आर ऑन टॉप ऑफ द टेबल दे विल सील देयर स्पॉट इन द फाइनल विद अ विन टुडे पापुआ न्यू गिनी विल हैव अ टॉल टास्क टू गेट पास्ट मलेशिया टू जॉइन देम वी हैव गॉट गेम्स टुमारो On Saturday, Super Saturday, where we'll see a big crowd for that Nepal versus Malaysia game, and then we'll have a day off on the Sunday before the grand final on Monday. It's going to be Avanesh Bahara to bowl the 15th over. Lamachani will hold himself back, maybe wait to bowl to the newer. That comes into the pad, full straight and not out. The reason why it's just hit him outside the line of off stump. I think Bao has got across his stumps, and that is what. The umpire has decided, definitely going on to hit the stumps, just outside the line. Very hopeful out there, Avinash. Five bowlers used by Nepal so far. Avinash into his third. Sonpal Kami and Karan Kesi have picked two wickets each. Yeah, the issue is there's still an over of both Iri and Lamachani, which Vanua could well target. Right into the block hole. He's so effective. Avanesh Bahar at the death. He must hit his yorkers what about 75-80 percent of the time. What did I do wrong? Smart bowling by Avinash out here. Has only conceded a single of the first two deliveries. 79 runs required from 34 balls with six wickets in hand. No one Vonua. The person who can actually do it for PNG. Well, if Fadua gets going, the required run rate's not going to matter. That's how good he is at clearing the ropes. He's been hit or miss historically, but he's evolved probably from an out-and-out -out bowler who smashes it down the end into a full all-rounder. And look at the panic that his mere presence at the crease has brought about. Lamachani having a discussion with Bahara. Where do I put the fielders? And what we're going to see is everyone up in the circle behind square so backward point is up third man is up short fine leg and square leg all up and this is what the new does his mere presence scares the bowler and Bahara leaps wide outside the offside the skipper and the senior folks in the squad probably need to have a bit of conversation with the answer Gets it into the block hole and squeezed away. They continue to make use of this deep backward point position. It's a funny one you wouldn't see too often. Vanua just two from two so far. Stand by though for fireworks. And he's still there in 10, 15 balls time. That target's going to creep ever closer for PNG. The required run rate at a daunting 14 runs and over. Jesse Bao will also have to play his part and provide that cushion for Norman. Slashed away through the offside and he's got it straight enough to get it for four. That's a really good shot from Sese Bao. This is the issue with bowling Yorkers and almost Yorkers exclusively. If you do miss, it turns into a half volley and Bao's picked the gap really nicely. Made some room and then clear the fielders. No chance for the fielder in the deep. Umpires having a look at the ball. Probably a change of it. Yeah, I think if you saw on the replay there, it's actually cannoned into probably the, the metal post that's just beginning the fences that 
keep the general admission perimeter in place. And it's taken quite a chunk out of it. So rightly, Mene Kumar Jha, I don't know if it was Avanesh Bahara who alerted him to it, but they're going to need to seek a new ball. Let's see if we can have a look at the, the batting cards and maybe the bowling cards as well during this slight break in play. And see what the options are, what the state of play is as Papua New Guinea try to chase down what would be the highest total they've ever chased in their T20i history. They need 204 runs. An awful lot will hang on the shoulders of big Norman Vanua. They do have Riley Hikore and Chad Soper to come, but you'd have to think if they're going to get close, it'll be Vanua and Bao who'll have to do the majority of the heavy lifting. Five bowlers used by Nepal so far. Two wickets each for Karan Casey and Sonpal Kami. Sandeep Lamichanya remains wicketless in his three overs. 31 runs conceded. He'd probably be concerned with that figure. But one of the concerns with the spinners having been expensive today, not just in the first innings, but also now in the second innings, will be there's still two overs of spin left that they'll have to bowl unless Lamachani turns to someone like Arif Sheikh or maybe the debutante with some medium pace. It's well bowled down the leg side it might have been, but it's gone through the legs of Sese Bao, so it won't be signalled as a wide. Tried to make some space for himself, but failed to make any connection. Good grab out there by the wicketkeeper Dilip Nath. Brilliant skills from Avanesh Pahara, and he's managed to keep both Bao and, crucially, Norman Vanilla quiet for the moment. A quarter of the chase remains. We could still be in for a thrilling finish. It'll be Sachin, and he has to talk you through it. We'll have a commentary change. One, three, two for four. A hero, super splendor. Nepal ko ati lok priya motorcycle. Hero super splendor. Udaipur ko sundunga baata tayar kariye ko the best Saudia cement. Nepal mein navin praviti dwara utpadit Jagdamba Super Sign tatha Galva Plus jasta pata jivan bhar ko bharu sa. The TV is the Bache RTR 200 4V. The TV is the Bache RTR 200 4V. 14.4 is the required run rate. 72 runs required of the last 30 balls. With me is my friend from Pakistan, Ejaz. A very good afternoon. What an exciting five hours coming up. Yes, thank you very much. It should be in another exciting game of today because we have seen ODIs, the rest of three T20s. Try to heave it down the ground. Norman Vanua and Sesebao. I think Norman Vanua is the key here. He has all the abilities to go after the ball and get those quick runs and big overs for his team. Devinder Singh Airy has been just expensive. But to me, a couple of good overs here. Earlier on, like 16 or 17 should be there, like big overs, where they can achieve like 15 to 20 runs so that they can bridge the gap, which is 71 required in 29 deliveries. Infielders, they need to follow the instructions of their captain. They need to support their bowler. Big swing of the bat, straight to the field, no run. Good ball, this from Devendra Singh Aidi. Now Papua New Guinea need a big over sooner than later. Heaves it again, still cannot go underneath and smack it. And that's good. That Watson Deep has given the instructions to his bowlers that he will have to be in the block hole, and these three deliveries were really somewhere near to the black hole nothing short of land nothing wait this is a no ball i think and this has gone all the way is this the moment for papua new guinea it's a no ball will be afraid as Devendra singh already given this opportunity for papua new guinea to come back to this match well singh has just destroyed his over for this uh, mighty no ball and a six I think so that has just slipped away from his fingers. That's why he has just gone aerial and look at that. This has gone too high. We had lots of uh, balls being lost today. Three 
while in the inning of uh, Nepal and now another one that umpire is almost down there and he has given the ball no ball is a crime in the shorter format of the game and coming from a spinner even bigger a crime free hit now Sese wow I'm sure will look to capitalize on this he cannot get out mind you as I said plenty of balls lost and even have having to being replaced not the kind of free hit you would have wanted Sese Bao trying to hoik it too much of power no execution yes uh, he should be looking for a couple of more top deliveries but I think that uh, batter the way he's showing his aggression will go after him well, this is a bouncer from the vendor saying ID came in sharp surprise Norman Manuva completely yes and uh, Norman is already setting himself for a big hit to its own side but he will surely play on merit this is mashed down the ground will feed it by Sompal is athletic 62 runs off 24 balls that's the end of the Singh singer's fourth over and after 16 143 for four Udaipur ko sundhunga bata tayar kariye ko the best Saurya cement. Bravo Bank, the reason for your success. The TV is Baje RTR 204V. Nepal mein Navin Pravidi dwara utpadit Jagdamba Super. The two wickets in his first spell has been brought by the captain to contain Papua New Guinea. They need 62 runs from the last four overs. Had it been international cricket before 10 years, this would have been game over. But that is how cricket has, has evolved. It has been batsman's game. Even the mind and the calculation of the game of the batsman now, they're not thinking of how many runs required. They're only thinking it's, it's about two big overs. Oh, this has found the middle of the bat. And this has been launched, in fact, out of the ground. The crowd also, mere spectators. Are we in for a thriller? St. Norman was already set for such kind of shot. He was waiting for that delivery. He was uh, using his feet, just staying there and hammering it at long gone. What a wonderful hit under a huge pressure. And this is exactly required here from PNG. And Nepal should be having two ODIs in their minds. That's how PNG chased down. And they have just uh, been in this style. What a wonderful hit. It's more than the cricket for you. That's when they know when to accelerate. They can get something like Nepal got in their 17th over. 18th over. I beg your pardon. 32 runs came out of it. If Papua New Guinea can find an over like that here, it's a completely different equation, isn't it, Ajaj? Yes, this is where you call the T20 format. It's been the beauty. A couple of overs, and the game has been totally changed the momentum. So, Pai is having another ball, another ball which has been lost. Well, there is some noise in crowd. <laughs> well, Karan is also signaling to us that point where something has happened. There was a contest among the crowd to find the ball. Somebody wanted to take it along. Not to be. We've got our cameras there, guys. This has been the script so far, isn't it, Jazz? Spire. <laughs> lost balls the empires have been very busy raising their hands finding the balls replacing them 
This has been a high scoring game already. Papua New Guinea now need 55 of 23. The equation looks much more possible now. That's it. And dropped. Dilip Nath. We'll have to see how costly this can get. Karan Kese is not amused. Well, this is where I was uh, saying that you will have to support your bowlers. He has uh, just made an effort in that delivery. Edged away and wicketkeeper just popped up. He was just uh, pushing his body there rather than the hands. So whole of the body weight shifted onto the hands and he has uh, just dropped really a simple catch. And rightly so, Sachin, uh, let's see how much costly that drop would be. Let's wait and see 150 off of PNG. 14.73 is the required run rate, but I don't think they're they'll care about this attempted scoop bolted wide this is brilliant balling from Karan Kisi it was premeditated from Sese Bao and Karan Kisi very intelligently balled it away from his body and you have to give credit to the batters because they are watching the baller earlier he's been already there set a plan that I will surely be going towards short fine leg where the fielder is up so he must be more careful while pitching any delivery down the left side. Brilliant comeback from Karan Kesi after being hoid for a six in the very first delivery. Oh, brilliant running. Misfield from Rohit will allow another run to Papua New Guinea's tally. 153 they are at this point of time. Well, at the bottom, the fielder just took off his eyes rather than he was watching the running between the wicket at how much because there are already two runs. I think that he could have tried to just get an underarm throw quickly and can try to get a run out there rather than looking on to the batters at how much they have been scoring runs. Oh, this was another powerful shot attempted. Lucky to survive with Norman Vanua. And that drop catch from Dilip Nath nearly carried to the third man inside the circle. Funny things happen in cricket. I remember Garayan Jones dropping one and passing on to the first slip. That famous Ashes encounter in 2005. Ten runs of this current Casey's third over. Last delivery. Hammered it down the ground. Nobody moved. A brilliant boundary to end this 17th over. Still in the game, still in the game, Papua New Guinea. They are at 157 for four after 17. We Navin Praviti Dwara Utpadit, Jagdamba Super Sign Tata Galva Plus, Jasta Pata, Jeevan Bharko Barosa. Udaipur ko chundunga bata, tayar kariye ko, the best, Saurya Cement. Apollo Paints को कुने कुने नजीक को स्टोर मार गया रहा। आप लोग मन पड़ने रहा। थानोस। Introducing the TV's Apache RTR 204V, engineered to adapt। उदयपुर को चुन्दुंगा बाटा तैयार करिए। His last over, Avinash Bora. Hold a lovely over before this. If he can get those yorkers to. Right round. Perfection, and if he bowls on the block hole consistently, it will be difficult for Papua New Guinea. But both Norman and Sesebao now finding the middle of their bats. Norman Vanua, especially if he stays till the end of this innings, I think Papua New Guinea can win from here. As such, and the ballers they need to use their mind. Are there a slower one? Because previous over, we did see that there was a pacey delivery well picked up by the batter. He should be. Making a yorker or a slower. Exactly. That's what it is known for. I think the Papua New Guinea batsman will should should look to disturb the length of Avinash Bora. If you just stay in the crease and do not move, he's pretty spot on with his yorker. He's known for his yorkers, but he does not have that piece. So if you can come down the track or stay deep into your crease and deal with Avinash hey, Bora, hey, that will disturb hey, his length. And that is when you can force him to bowl those full tosses. Or overpaced deliveries and smash for runs. 
So Dill Scoop and Mark Pay. Reverse sweep, a sweep shot can be an option here for Norman. And uh, let's see what he can do. Oh, he has stayed in the crease. Smash it down the ground. Yes. Not enough on the ball. And this is the most needed wicket for Nepal. Norman Vanua has been dismissed by Avinash Bora. Change in the pace. Could not judge it. And Dipendra Singh earlier. This man is always in action. Let's have a look at this. Did not find the middle of the blade. And all Dipendra Singh already needed to do was take his eyes onto the ball and easy catch. It's a wonderful. So, prize wicket here. 158 for 5 PNG. Vidhis Pata IME Gare Ko Paisa Sidha Hi Tapai Ko Mobile Mani Na Mil Chha Aapno Mobile Nika Loos IME Pay Download Gare Noos Ani Ghar Basi Basi Aapno Rakam Praapt Gare Noos Aba IME Gare Noos IME Pay Ma Praapt Gare Noos Saji Lai Introducing the TV's Apache RTR 204V Engineered to Adapt Balla Petio Sunza Stai Sundunga Kari Best Sahanuni Arukulagi, the best man. So, Riley Hickory is the new man in. Oh, ball in! Two in two for Avinash Bora, he loves it. And a fantastic delivery. Hickory, two adventures in the first delivery is faced. <laughs> Well, this happens when your team is under pressure. You come, play a big one, misses, and you have to walk back long there. This is really an impressive delivery. Straight one, going across, paying it, and there you go. So, sixth wicket down, score is 158 PNG. Watch ARTR 204V. The crowd going hat trick, hat trick. They want a hat trick from their local boy, Avinash Bora. Two and two. Rod Sofer will be facing Avinash Bora. What's it going to be? Is it going to be a yoker at the block hole? Crowd excited. We're excited. Everybody's excited for Avinash Bora. On a hat trick. And uh, what happens on a 50th T20 International? You are getting a hat trick. <laughs> to be on the ground. Just a single Avinash Bora. Has taken two important wickets for his team. Now, this is looking really difficult for Papua New Guinea to be realistic now. 45 or 14. But you never know. As I said, somebody had to play the knock of their life, knock of his life in this match for Papua New Guinea to win. Well, I think Sachin so far at this moment, the bowler's confidence is really in high. And they've been pitching the ball in the right areas. They're not allowing anything to the batters to free their arms. And uh, so far, so good. Sandeep and company doing a good job. We've seen an honorary hat-trick to Karan Kesi in this series. He took two wickets against Papua New Guinea in the first T20 and then of his first delivery against Malaysia, caught Virandip saying out. Not an official hat-trick, but an honorary hat-trick. And fairly so. I mean, batsmen would then complain. I got 50 not out in the previous match. 50 in this match, and that makes 100. It is a funny game. A single in Savinash Bora's fourth over. Brilliant bowling from him. Took two important wickets. Takes the score to 160 for 6 after 18 for Papua New Guinea. Introducing the TV's Apache RTR 204V, engineered to adapt. Balla Petio. 
सुन्दस्तै चुनढुंगा खानी बेस्ट चाहनुहुनेहरुको लागि द बेस्ट मात्र उपलब्ध गराउँदै द बेस्ट सौर्य सिमेन्ट अपोलो पेंट्स को कुने बने नजीब को स्टोर मा गया रहा अपला मन पने रहा छान नोस अविनाश बोरा चेंजिंग दे कोर्स ओफ दिस मैच इट लुक्स अ कम्पलीटी डिफरेंट इक्वेशन नाउ 44 ओफ 12 इस वेरी डिफिकल्ट इट हैव से 22 रन्स एन ओवर दैट्स व्हाट्स नीडेड अपन यू गिनी दे वांट टू गेट एस क्लोज एस दी ट but one thing, Sandeep shouldn't be bowling back up then. He should go through quick. Shot wide. Lucky for Sandeep. And straight to Garan Kesi. And it's a good time for Sandeep to get a couple of, couple of wickets here because he's wicketless. Yet no wicket for him. So a couple of wickets here in this over which surely gave him a better picture on the bowling analysis, on the bowling card. Short again. He's been on the shorter side today, Sandeep. Hasn't been the best day for him with the ball. We could list still. Four more deliveries for him to go. Karan Kese is a relaxed man now. It's exactly he has done a good job. 50 of T20 International. Must be a happy captain for the side because this is really a big achievement. Country from Nepal. He's been. Uh, Coming up at International Horizon with a no time will surely be a long way to go for her, for them. So we have seen the best of the bowlers and batters. The approach was right. Sandeep was excited. Umpire says no. It will be interesting to see in the replay. A gentle smile there from Umpire Vinay Kumar Jha. Sandeep was excited. Something saved us out of his crease. So. Sandeep was pretty excited, but he then thought that he's a couple of steps down the wicket, straight. And I think so, they say will carry. Good feeling, excellent. Rohit comes up onto the ball quickly. Good effort down there. Nearly to the umpire with that shot. It was hammered down the ground. So this match is looking as if it will go two Nepal's away from here. With every delivery, it's getting more and more stiff for Papua New Guinea. This is smashed. Again, good fielding effort. They've saved two runs. So, this is where uh, you're looking forward to have a good over like this. So Sandeep Lamachanu will have to pick up a wicket here to keep his streak going. He has 21 matches where he has picked up wickets. He is wicketless so far. Up in the air and he's got it. He has got this. Sandeep Lamichani. This is the 22nd match. He's got a wicket. In the most dramatic way this time. He knows it. He is having a laugh. He was wicketless so far. Short, wide, not the best of deliveries, you'll have to say, but straight to Karan Gizhi who takes this easily, safe as a house. Congratulations, Skippy. I've given you a wicket. <laughs> really, smiles all around here at TU Cricket Ground, and what a wonderful atmosphere. They've got a wicket. What is uh, seven down, PNG, 166. Introducing the TVS Apache RTR 204V, engineered to adapt. Deliveries to go. We are PNG. He's looking to get 38 runs. So it will be a huge call. 38 runs in six deliveries. If Karan bowls six legal deliveries, it's game over for PNG. So they'll, they'll have to expect a no ball from Karan. And probably smack six off every delivery. That's the only way PNG will win from here. Nepal have been excellent with the bat. 
initially some hiccups with the ball but now they've come back strong and five balls remaining Nepal now have almost qualified for the finals and deservedly so isn't it Ezaj? Yes well played who has seen the brilliant brilliant performance from the batters earlier on and now the ballers they have done a good job still you're restricting like uh, PNG not to go for overruns I think I think so that Karan has bowled superbly Slashed hard and even this is guided to the fielder at third man everything going Nepal's way even if the ball is not of that quality Nepal picking up wickets this is what happens when you're on top of your opponents but in case he picks another one for him three for 21 slashed slashed hard and Rohit Baudil in the deep third man area is safe as a house Nepal ko ati lok priya motorcycle Hero Super Splendor Nepal mein navin pravidhi dwara utpadit Jagdamba Super Sign tatha Galva Plus jasta pata jeevan bhar ko bharosa Karan Gisi, a ball in, two and two for Karan Gisi, yes he loves it, a little South Indian movie kind of a reaction, inspired from TikTok probably, Karan Gisi has now two and two, second time a Nepali baller is on a hat trick in two overs, in three overs it was Avinash Bora, before Karan Gesi and now Karan Gesi will be on a hat trick. Yes, sir. This clip will go on TikTok for sure. So Kabu Moria's short stay at the crease ends. Just one ball faced by him and nine down for 166 PNG. Rangin Manolo's Afro Zindagi Apollo Pains Ko Satma. The TV is Apache RTR 204V. Apollo Paints को कुने बने नजीक को स्टोर मा गया रहा, आपको लाइन मन पढ़ने रहा, छन्नोस बल्ल भेटियो सुन जस्ताई चुन Patrick, crowd getting excited again, 2 and 2 for Karan Kesi Pokana is the last man in, was very expensive with the ball The sign of Pokana, will he be able to survive this spell from Karan Kesi it's a hat-trick delivery, it's a hat-trick delivery, the crowd on their feet. It's for sure that Nepal will win from here almost. Karan Gisi now taking his run-up for the hat-trick delivery. Straight up in the air, I think this is going to be Karan Gisi's first hat-trick, is it? Yes, it is! What a way to finish this match, Karan Gisi, you beauty! Well, nobody has taken five wickets before this for Nepal. And today, Karan with a hat trick and getting these what a wonderful time 50 t20 international for nepal and look at that he was just waiting i'm about to record a big one here in nepal cricket history here at tu cricket ground what a wonderful atmosphere here with nepal winning it the safest builder in nepal team was underneath that delivery Karan Gesi knew it, he celebrated before Dipendra Singh Adi even grabbed that ball. And it's one of the most difficult feats in cricket to achieve. A hat-trick, three in three. Well done, Karan Gesi. Well done, champion. Yes, exactly. Really well done. What a superb effort he has done here today. And uh, Nepal cricket team has gone through. And uh, fast for Nepal here. Five wickets all and a hat-trick. So what a wonderful time for Nepal cricket. And I think so that Cricket Association of Nepal will surely putting his name on the honor board. And he is 28th player to do this. Overall at cricket history. The last one was uh, Jason Holder, the West Indian bowler against England. We took this. And uh, when there is uh, three wickets, a hat-trick and a win, 
This is really a beautiful day of cricket at Nepal. And you will remember it. 31st March 2022 for the long, long time in the cricket history of Nepal. Such a champion, Karan Kisi, has been for Nepal. A hat trick to his name is very handy with the bat, Karan Kisi. A perfect all rounder for Nepal and a hat trick to end this innings. And this means that Nepal now have qualified for the finals. They're going for the finals for sure. Now it's a contest between Papua New Guinea and Malaysia as to who reaches the finals. Handshakes going around. It's a proud Nepali side. Papua New Guinea, three losses to their, uh, to their name. Three consecutive losses. And they have a massive hill to climb if they want to qualify into the finals of this Sky Exchange Tri-Nation Nodia T20 International Series. Karan Casey, the man of the moment here. Yes, exactly. Really a proud player. What a wonderful effort he has done here today. Though that uh, his over was last one to go, but he has uh, a man who stood up and uh, he will remember this day for a long, long time. And I think that Cricket Association of Nepal, the cricket here, it is giving them a new breed. A new era is opening up in front of Time Check, brought to you by Sarbottam Steel. Joy Papayasan, joy beautiful by nature. Masha Pushwe and IBPYP candidate Sku Kusunti Lalitpur. Nepal ko sarvadik loko priya sipa visi pipes and fittings. Rashtra Kushan Kisan. The Paiko Pariwala Dengu Malaria Bata Surakchit Raknos. Good night, Power Active Plus. Kantipur Engineering College, Dhapake Lalitpur. Medical Provis Parikshatayariko Gantabia Vibrant MBBS Preparation Center. Merudes Mira Jagadam Basement. Current Hot and Lemon Mito Piro Noodles. Proud to be associated with Kantipur Samatar. नमस्कार कांतिपुर समाचार में स्वागत है मौ विकास थपलिया सुरगरों मुख्य समाचार बाटो स्थानीय तहार निर्वासन को लागी खाका बनाऊं ना तल्लो तहमा समेंत्र बनाऊं ने सत्ता गठबंधन दल हरूपी सहमति समेंत्र ले मंगलवार सम्मा प्रतिबद्धन बुझाऊं ने प्रधानमंत्री देवा को भली देखी होने भारत भ्रमण लाई मंत्री प्रशासन ने दियो स्वीकृति तेजाब आक्रमण रा यून हिंसा विरुद्ध को अध्यादेश ले उन्हें सरकार को निर्णय रूस द्वारा भारत लाई सस्तो मात्रील की नप्रस्ताव प्रति बैरिल पौंतीस डॉलर छूट दिने रूसी विदेश मंत्री लावरोफ दुई दिने करण को हैट्रिक शिवम सिमेंट भरोसा अटूट संबंध को सबै भन्दा राम्रो छड कुन छ होला उच्चतम लचकता का साथै असीम बार बन क्षमता भएको अम्बे स्टील जतिको भरपर्दो अरु कुनै स्टील छैन अम्बे स्टील जे बन्छ इगो बन्छ जसरी मौसम बदलिन्छ नि जिंदगी का अवसर है। खुशी पानी, थपी दे, थपी दे जान से। संबंध तो इन बल्ले बल्ले बन गए। पीयू रस सिलिकॉन प्रविधि युक्त बर्जर वेदर कोट लॉन्ग लाइफ। काम पानी चेक सा, दस परसेंट टिक सा। वाव, खेल तो? Let me see। वाव। तो तीमरो कपाल से कौन सी स्तो चमकी को? ना फिर तो। no filters, no chemicals. Miro Kopal Lai Madhintu, Daver Vatika Shampoo Ko Natural Potion. Daver Vatika Shampoo Ma Chha 10 Natural Ingredients. Kalo Ra Chom Kilo Kopal Ko Lagi, Black Shine Shampoo. Baklo Ra Balio Kopal Ko Lagi, Thick and Long Shampoo. The Dandruffy Kopal Ko Lagi, Anti Dandruff Shampoo. Daver Vatika Shampoo, Beautiful Naturally.
new dynamite, extra hot and extra spicy noodles. Dum cha. घर बना एक अर् भरोसा चाहिए भरोसा होना एक अर् विश्वास चाहिए विश्वास हर एक संबंध लुनी भरी को साथ संबंध साथ जुनी को बने को प्रस्तुत जगदम्बा सुपर साइन तथा ग्यालवा प्लस सात को साथ अत्याधुनिक ग्यालबुलूम लाइन प्रविधि बड़ बने टिकाउ तथा खिया प्रतिरोधात्मक हर एक मौसम पूर्ण सुरक्षा उच्च मजबूती उत्कृष्ट रंग कोटिंग प्रविधि उत्कृष्ट गुणस्तर परीक्षण गार्ड फिल्म कोटिंग नेपाल में नवीन प्रविधि द्वारा उत्पादित जगदम्बा सुपर साइन तथा ग्यालवा प्लस जस्ता पाता जीवन भर को भरोसा when those nerves deep down in the tooth have come alive and and you get that uncomfortable sensation i always recommend sensodyne and i've had people coming back to me saying it's made a difference it works you meet a sugandhali mero man ekdam shanta huncha prabhu aphno sabai almal balira prabhu sanga ko yo aatmiya chhindi एकदम आनंदित महसूस मंगल दीप अगरबत्ती सूर्य नेपाल द्वारा वितरित एक उत्कृष्ट उत्पादन सर्वोत्तम सुपर ग्रेप में अन्य फलामे छड़ा साठी प्रतिशत बड़ी पकड़ शक्ति जिससे बन सर्वोत्तम निर्माण सर्वोत्तम स्टील शक्तिशाली होमसी सीमेंट अब तिरपन्न ग्रेड सहित KNP Ava KNP Nero Lag a subsidiary of Kansai Paints Japan Nasne ma nasna bata malai mero sarir le pani kahile rokna sakena 15 barsha ko thie accident huda euta kucha na huda ko sarik pida ro jivan ko yetro lamo yatra sajilo ta thie na mero kamjori haru lai maile mero strength banaye ro aaja आपको प्रस्तुति दी रखा मैं देख रबई को मुहार में आत्मविश्वास और संतुष्टि को मुस्कान देख्छ मुस्कुरा अगे बढ़ने नई तो हो जीवन सो कस्तो भैर फिटनेस जर्नी इट्स क्विट ग्रेट तर तीन वर्कआउट संगे चाहिए जा बढ़ानी जिससे पूरा कर हम फिटनेस रुटी डाबर हानी में एंटी अक्सिडेन्ट रिनेर जिससे तिटनेस रुटीन कम्प्लीट कर सुरक्षित निर्माण को विश्वास राइनो डक्टिविटी
काम पानी को लुका मारी खुशी का हर एक क्षण को तैयारी पीयू रिलिकन प्रविधि युक्त बर्जर वेदर कोट लॉन्ग लाइफ काम पानी छेक दस वर्ष टिक त्रिपन्न ग्रेड को सर्वोत्तम सीमेंट अपग्रेडेड स्ट्रेंथ का साथ जिसले निर्माण बलियो सर्वोत्तम सीमेंट सर्वोत्तम मजबूती बने को रियल जूस में रियल न्यूट्रिशन रियल टेस्ट रियल हैप्पीनेस तेल रियल जूस रियल होनी डबल ग्लास प्रोटेक्शन लेटेस्ट एम्लोजिक प्रोसेसर वेगा एलईडी टीवी क्वालिटी स्पीक्स इट्स के एन पी अब के एन पी मेरो सब्सिडियरी अफ कंसाई पेन्स जपान शक्तिशाली होंगी सीमेंट अब तिरपन्न ग्रेड सहित होंगी सीमेंट तपाई को कपाल में कस को हुकुम चल स्टेन्स को सेट या हेयरफॉल को फैसला कपाल को समस्या तपाई को हेयर स्टाइल को निर्णय नगरोस् हेयर प्रब्लम्स मतलब हेयर डैमेज डफ को एक चौथाई मोइस्चराइजिंग मिल्क र कैरेटिन एक्टिव्स ने कपाल भिक्रेदि रिपेयर कर सुंदर लह लहाँदो कपाल जिस में चल केवल तपाई को मर्जी सब भाई छड़ कुछ अम्बे स्टील शिवम सीमेंट भरोसा अटूट संबंध को सत्ता गठबंधन दलहबीच केन्द्र में जस्त तलो तह तो में चुनावी ता 